All right, guys. Hello and welcome to the third session of Simmons Goldberg Empire. Hey. Uh, for a quick recap uh, for the players. So previously, what happened in the last campaign is uh, the Gosolteo clan has consolidated their control and influence over the country of Haryaji by getting rid of all the rival warlords that are uh, that were resisting the rule of the family. They allied with uh, the rest of the warlords that pledged their loyalty to the clan and essentially uh, the, the enemies were executed and the clan was able to, you know, gain a foothold over one country. They were also able to successfully bond with the Kirins that Felicity has summoned. And with that, they have gained access to, you know, a, five creatures that have divine magic. And that has given them a massive edge in terms of uh, terms of magic wise and now uh, ever since then uh, there has been a massive time skip from what has happened from where we will pick up and uh, for the past few months the Russell Teo clan have uh, done a lot of work for the country of Haryajiv to recover from all the internal battles that have happened in the past few weeks. This has caused an issue that the clan needs to handle now. The country is quite low on resources now because all these battles have happened during winter and now the resources have run out. Not only that, there are some other issues that have arisen. Because of all the internal strifes that have happened for the past few weeks, the country of Revolonia, they have taken advantage of the situation and they have sent armies from their, from their uh their own military or military forces to attack the bases and camps within the country of Haryajiv. And this has become a problem because three of the warlords that that have pledged their loyalty to the clan, they have been assassinated in the process. And not only that, during one of their attacks, Faustus, the father of Regulus and Augustus, was Unfortunately, he was killed. However, it was temporary because Apple Thief, his Kirin, was able to resurrect him before he could fully pass on. So Faustus is alive, but he has died once already. So this has become a this has become a problem for the clan now. You have you are low in resources. And you realize that you need to increase your military force because you don't know when Revolonia will do an another attack like this. And you've all collectively realized that the best option is to take over the kingdom of Glavius with help from General Killian. Right now, it is the 89th day of Frostfall. The season of Green Sprout is approaching. And because of that, uh, the new year is approaching essentially because as it has been established, uh, Green Sprout marks the beginning of the year in Tyrin, the, the beginning of Green Sprout. So in a few days, it will be the year 744 AP. Uh, at this very moment, all of you are gathered in the war room. So you're all back in Stellaris. You are not in Haryajuf. You 
I've teleported back to Stellaris to have a meeting with Freya and some other members of the clan. Uh, as you can see, you are all gathered in the war room. Uh, you can see uh, the map of the country is the territories that you're planning to take over is laid in front of you and uh, you're all gathered at the table. Right now, you are discussing ideas and plans on how to make them, how to start with taking over the country of Glavius. Uh, Felicity, you have recently had conversations with General Killian about Glavius, and I have uh, shared with you some bullet points of like what you guys talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, it is assumed that you have uh, shared it already with the clan, and uh, if you could share them with the clan, actually, no. like yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So um, now that we're back to Stellaris, um, now that we're going, uh, we're planning to overthrow the. Um, government in Glavius. So a little bit more about that um, type of government. So um, what we know from what Killian had uh, told, uh, told me is that uh, Glavius is actually a, like a neutral country. They keep to themselves. They don't make um, enemies outside, especially you know, bigger um, empires that, such as like Revolonia and Harajuk. So they just keep to themselves. The only thing with this one is that their um, military, government, it's like UK government, like they have the crown, but the crown really doesn't have any power. And at the moment, the crown is, um, well, at least the king is Killian's youngest cousin, who actually doesn't want to be king. And then the one that's making decisions there. The prime are, minister? Prime Minister, politicians that are very corrupt, but Ilahang corruption stays within their country, um, also known as the Philippines. But ingana, ingana ang like the corruption of of the politicians, they just stay in their country, and then neighbor neighboring, well, neighboring empires, neighboring thingies, they know about this corruption, but they don't meddle with it because Glavius is like very rich in um, crops, resources, things like that. So unless magsamoksa moksa Glavius ay lahang thing, dili rasad nila hilab dan si Glavius. Nga na thing. Alright, so ilahang resources, they have crops, food, manpower, and fertile lands, meaning they're very um, beneficial if we take over them because, you know, we need more manpower and of course like scarcity na ang ato ang gipang gipang stock up mga places so um the plan is now because wala kayo kaaway si Clavius if we attack them it will be risky for us in the sense nga like other neighboring countries they don't have any beef with Glavius man. Yeah, Glavius is providing them, what is that? Resources. So, more retaliate niya sila ba in support to Glavius. So, that's something that we have to consider. And then, um, yeah, basically it. And then, what we know is that um, the church, like, the, what was that? Let me see here. Well, the Church of Glavius is actively against the corrupt politicians. So we can, you know, be friends with them and help them help overthrow or get their help overthrow the politicians, things like that. Um, if we do decide to conquer Glavius Jude, uh, Kilian Nosra, a secret passage heading to the kingdom so that we can we may speak to the king bypassing the politicians so that's what we know 
Then, what are worth? What are our thoughts? In in regards to that, uh, Felicity, after you share all that information, uh, when you mentioned the Church of Gravius, you also know that you have one of your uh, one of the clans have actually inserted one of uh, a spy within the Church of Glavius just to make sure that the church is truly on your side and that they're not going to like trick you or scam you or lure you into a trap. So, Felicity, you start to uh, uh, summon one of the members of the clan into the room and all of you recognize... Uh, one of your distant cousin, he is, he comes from the line of Freya. So Freya is like your grand aunt. Mm -hmm. So she is the brother of your grandfather and for Fjordring, like, you know, his, his aunt. So this person who will join you now, he is uh, a son of Freya. And so he is like your second cousin to you, like Felicity, Regulus, and Augustus. To Fjordring, he is your first cousin. He enters the room and takes a seat. And, uh, well, if you could describe your character, please. Hello. Wait, hold on. Lagi atay. Delete this spectator. All right. So, um, in this war room in Stellis, out from the doors they open, and in comes a, a familiar face. So, as it has been mentioned, this is no stranger to you. This is what he looks like. <laughs> Everyone meet uh, Floki Rosaltea. He is the son of Freya. He has um, a red hair and dark purple eyes with bronze skin. He looks upon the distance. He ceremoniously walks towards the table and uh, takes a seat. He looks at his cousins. He regards them and says, Hail, adventurers, my cousins. He looks at uh, Freya, mom, like almost disdainly. And um, first, I think so, yeah. And um, we are gathered here today. He opens his arms and he's like, oh, sorry, wrong, <laughs> wrong session. <laughs> and it's like, right, we are here to business for war. Um, Felicity, it has been, uh, thank you for that information that we have. I believe our, uh, it has been a while and he looks at, um, Fjordring. He pauses for like a few seconds, dear cousin. It has been quite some time since we last met. But our salutations will have to wait. We have matters to attend to. Um, as it has been brought up, Glavius is indeed a primal resource for our clan. I have been placed as a, a friendly mole in this uh, religious set. Of course, I have been promised great reward and he looks like he looks at Freya again. <laughs> Freya is a, vineyard of, a vineyard of my own desire. And then um, he proceeds to share to everyone uh, the, the information. So, firstly, as Felicity has mentioned, the Kingdom of Glavius uh, is uh, no easy task, no easy territory to conquer. Our clan is in dire need of their resources, and I believe uh, and like he almost struts with a uh, beam of pride as he faces Freya that my efforts in there has been very fruitful indeed. First, I would like to let you know that 
the high priest and he stumbles to recall the name of the high priest whose name is high priest <laughs> high priest of Davis. his name <laughs> is uh, no, uh, high priest archer oh archer yeah. yes well, we all have our own aliases in the name. I am known as Floki in the sect. I am known as Father Jacob. And, <laughs> and you know how priests, how priests have their own names. And oh. he is aging in his post, but he clearly wants, he, he clearly dreams of a better future for Glavius. Unfortunately, our incumbent king King Liam is not up to the task. And although high priests want nothing more than to prosper for this nation, he believes that a new leader should replace. And he looks at everyone in the room, especially at Felicity. He thinks that I am quite positive that our clan leader, should they meet with the high priest, we can rally the support for our clan, the Gosalteo, to taking over this country. Now, he fumbles, he mentions how Felicity mentioned that the government is quite corrupt. Where the government is corrupt, the church is also corrupt, and it is no stranger that there are, the church is also being uh, populated by corrupt members who are in support of these, uh, the prime minister and also the corrupt officials. I think that it is best for us to strike them. Maybe a group of mercenaries, what say you? And he looks at everyone in the room. Our plan is a military power of sorts. We can apprehend them. What do you think? And he looks at everyone. I think then... that's a good idea. Is it? Well, if everyone uh, is in agreement with this the first day of green spout is at hand the royal court for sure will gather all the nobles especially people of faith i think it is a good opportunity to make our statement to take over but we should also meet with the high priest and discuss our plans plans I'm pretty sure with if we play our cards right we can take over the church who in turn can influence the government well said um so that settles it then our plan is to meet with the high priest as soon as possible and uncle and i turn to fjordring and then cousins i would like to request for um your um presence to accompany me accompany me in this mission <coughs> let us meet with the high priest first do i is 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 Floki my cousin or my uncle, Ra? Your uncle. He is technically like your uncle. He's in the same generation as Fjordring. They're their cousins. Reg Regulus oh. raises raises his hand. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Mio Mio Kujina. I I have a question. Yes, cousin. So uh. I am not very good uh, with uh, playing cards, so I need a little bit tutorial on whatever games. Cause <laughs> I know, like, we have to play our cards right, but then uh, I I do not play a lot of gambling. That is uh, so. Someone has to 
t- teach me about this for maybe you maybe you to uh to you gusti did okay, you interjects it? and he goes like with a very uh genuine look of concern to regulus i forgive you and makes a sign of faith <laughs> <laughs> yeah i i am very sorry i do not know cards so but but i'm very fast learner me or to you. <coughs> That's it. <laughs> so what? So Fjordring uh, is going to basically just say, uh, so this is a diplomatic trip. <sighs> and he will say, <laughs> he will say, if you want someone to be killed, do you know all you have to do is point me to the right direction. I will wait until the signal comes, and I will remain quiet until then. <laughs> Loki also interjects. He looks at Fjordring. He said, Dear cousin, I have great concern over your faith and your spirit. And then he, mu- he makes a sign of... Uh, of the faith, and he mutter, he whispers, "Repent, repent." <laughs> <laughs> and he just, Afiori uh, just says, "I am no longer the man you remember, oh, that the child you remember when we were still <laughs> children." <laughs> <laughs> Reggie just, Reggie just whispers to Augustus, and it's like, "But what if, uh, what if uh, the person is on the left? How do we point uh, to your free ordering to?" <laughs> Oh God! Why? Why does it always have to be the right? Because <laughs> it is literal. So that's it. He will look at Gus and and signals him, like gives him a look in the eye, like help me out here, please. <laughs> uh, what? what? I feel like Gus would just say this. <laughs> I guess was like, you know, um, looking at the map and then thinking of the strategies. All right. Okay. So, I turn to Fjordring and then I place a hand on his right shoulder. You'll have your battle, uncle. But for now, let us make use of the new information that... Um, Uncle Fulky also um, has shared to us right now. So let us all exhaust all diplomatic measures. If that's okay with you, um, great aunt. Sounds good so far? It does sound good, my dear. And I'm liking all the ideas being thrown. I appreciate that we are trying to use manipulation instead of force because considering Glavius' standing, historically speaking, that is the, that country is the first spot where the God of Protection landed in Paran. So mm-hmm. it's a sacred ground, and we really shouldn't go around invading the place. However, there is one issue to be raised. I heard that General Killian is asking that, uh, what do you plan on doing with the boy king when you uh, confront him and take the country from him. King Liam, what will you do, Felicity? Perhaps... Um... Play cards with... Wasn't that the plan to play cards with the king? <laughs> Not now. Not your turn to be Stop. <laughs> I will say, perhaps we can... Um, in a more political way that Liam may, uh, um, what is that? What is that term? Like transfer his thingy to Killian. Like a, oh, like like a, like, like, and like, like, a like a hand me down. Sure. Well, that one. When Gusty and I was younger, I I got a lot of Gusty's hand me downs. I see. I hope like no what? underwear. <laughs> Hopefully no underwear. Like swords, uh, maybe. I hope they're swords. 
<laughs> yeah, see. the weaponry and so, and armor and what whatever. And I didn't really care much for the fighting. Mm. <sighs> Perhaps King Liam will also share the same sentiment, cousin. But you want not... you want me to give King Liam a sword? No, cousin. I want Liam to give his power and his throne to Killian. Were you following? And then, and then Freya's like, "Why pass it to Killian when you're supposed to rule?" In uh, we um, we we need to have it, cousin. Yes, yes. As as they say in the book of Romans, chapter thirteen, <laughs> verse thirteen, let everyone be subject to the governing authorities. Yes, oh, uh, part what? of that. Yeah, I was drinking tea when they were when we were talking about it with the high priest. Yes, what, yes. What kind of Bible oh. is that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bible no. war. <laughs> Not to you, um, Floki, actually. When you enter, you actually, because you've been gone for quite some time, just to um, orient you, you are currently, if you look at the map, right now you are here in Stellaris. You used to be here in Glavius, so, you know, you were far from home for a while, and now you're back here in this location. When you enter, you actually notice like the Kirins. You've already heard about these Kirins. These are essentially uh, divine creatures that can control the weather and bring back the dead and all that. However, the Kirin in particular standing next to Felicity, he is the Kirin that gave power to the original ancestor that started your, this, this entire line. And not only that, since you are a follower of Rico Bishop, you also realize that Gosalteo is like a loyal mount to the god that you're praying to. So you're essentially meeting like the horse of the god that you pray to, you know? Ooh. Well, they don't yeah. know that. I'm supposed to be a spy for Sato? Gladius, Glavius. I mean, yeah, you are a spy for the Church of Glavius, but you're a devoted follower in the set of Rico Bishops. So, all right, and, and is, they know this, right? They're like, yeah, like, you fully are aware. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they all are fully aware. And I look at the, I look at my mother with this Dane Freya. I have been in this seminary my whole life. I have not seen a Kirin. This is the first time I'm already 30 years old. This better be good vineyard. <laughs> And then Freya says, like, I assure you, child, you will get your vineyard and whatever you want once we secure the resources in Glavius because they have the nicest vineyards. So rest assured it will all be worth it. Only the best for you. Only the best. That's yes. very good news. That is very good news indeed. <laughs> and then Freya continues. Um, since Faustus died for a few moments, he's back now. I have advised him to take some rest because clearly dying for 10 minutes can be very traumatic. So not to worry, nephews, looking at Gregos and Lysus, your father will be just fine. I just need him to take a break from the battlefield and to rest. But... We will need a rider for Apple Thief over here. And Apple Thief is just here in the corner. Yeah, uh, riderless. Riderless. And Priya offered. Uh, Loki, if you would bond with Apple Thief over here, we would have five riders for the five Kirins and maximize our the power that was given to us. A bond with the Kirin? And Loki is clearly excited. Oh, I've never done this before. And he's like, he's tiptoeing towards that. He's like, yeah. in the seminary, we we don't have killings. We have we have children. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> and then what? <laughs> <laughs> what did they do with the children? <laughs> Um, 
special just something from the vines <laughs> what do i need to do and then <laughs> <This is> exciting <laughs> uh uh you, before as you approach um apple thief you notice that apple thief is uh Well, the reason he's called that in the first place is because he loves apples. And you see him, he actually, somehow he has dragged an apple tree into the war room and is like munching on like a pile of apples. And then he stares at you and he, uh, you hear like a voice in your head and uh, it seems like he's speaking to you through telepathy and he tells you, So are you going to be my new rider now? Oh, Loki start gets startled up. I hear something in my head. Yes, that's me. I'm talking to you. The, the children they don't speak in my head. They talk. <laughs> well, I'm not a child in human wise. Understood. I guess I'm supposed to ride you. And Floki like sort of like gets an apple from his bag. This one is fresh from the garden in the semi- in the seminary. Don't tell high priest I bring in my room. Apple thief like uh, stares at the apple and uh, looks quite, he notices it's quite different from the usual apples he's been munching in Stellaris. So he, he, you see the apple like float away from your hand and it's like coming towards him. And then he just swallows it entirely. And and then Apple Thief just says, Okay, this one tastes good. I look forward to working with you. Likewise, Mr. Apple Thief. Do you like swords? <laughs> Very random. Not, but that, yeah. Mm, not really. I only like apples, so don't feed me swords. Got it. I will write that down. <laughs> and just like that, you have also bonded with a Kirin. Hey. <laughs> and then uh, Freya points out uh, to everyone that once we once we have taken over Glavius, the country, the other countries might. Still have issue with it. There is only one way we could secure our position without causing much fuss. And Felicity, I think you are fully aware of what I am referring to. Yeah. Do you know what I am referring to? Yes. Um. Although I must admit that I'm uncomfortable with it. But if I must do it. Then I saw. You see, my dear uncles and cousins, the reason why I don't want to take the crown directly for myself, it is because that is not the most peaceful um, method to get a hold of this country. And I would like my reign to be regarded as peaceful rain. Hence, I have found that the only way that we can take over Glavius is by marriage. And given that Killian is a direct line of the royal family in Glavius, it is why I must, we must appoint him as the new king of Glavius. And I shall be married to him, hopefully, <laughs> without, <clears throat> without But anything. didn't you already have a fiancé? I see. That was my concern as well. But... <laughs> <coughs> Do you need a priest? <laughs> oh, yes. Lots of priests, uncle. You, might, you must be the one who will wed us. But to answer your question, uh, Uncle Pure Drink, I believe it is not a first in our family to have multiple spouses. And while I would prefer just one partner, 
I am aware that I must not only think of myself, but for the future of our family and our kingdom as well. And if having two husbands is one way to secure it, then two husbands I shall have. Such a difficult duty you have. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then Freya says, Oh, it's not so bad, my dear. I myself had four husbands. See? See? <laughs> I'm only half. Half as bad. As Boy, yes. Only half as bad. And, you know, during wartime, one of them could die, so it's nice to have a spare. Well, All of mine true. died. Yeah, unfortunately. Men die younger, quicker. <laughs> Men die first. <laughs> How about you, Didi? Do you have husbands? And then Don Dancer um, replies, "That's a secret." If I I'm tell you, telling. if I tell you a secret, will you tell me your secret? Well, what is your secret? I might tell you depending on how nice the secret is. It, it, it's a secret. Okay. Then... Okay. <laughs> Why do you want to know? We always play keep it a secret with the children. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> just like... What the hell? <laughs> Uncle Foki. Where was the seminary? You're from? I, I look at um, Tita Freya. Well, she's the one who put me there. <laughs> <laughs> There's so much content. <laughs> and then Freya's like, You said you wanted to devote yourself to Rico Bishop. And I was like, Okay, you know. All I want is a vineyard, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! And then, yeah. and then, for, and then it's like, all right, let's let's focus at the task at hand. We will meet with the high priest tomorrow, and uh, we will discuss terms with them on how to go about taking over the castle, and and that will be it. Is there any other things we should have? Uh, any other questions we should raise beforehand? For me, cousin. No. Oh, I am ready to go. Okay. I'm ready. Let's see here. Didi, you, right. you have to teach me how to. Didi, you have to teach me how to play cards. Don't, don't answer. It. Don't don't dancer answers. Okay, sure. I I'll do that. When we have free time. Uh. <clears throat> on the on the next day, this will be the ninetieth day of frostfall, which means it's the last day of the year. You guys were able to teleport all the way to Glavius, uh, undetected, and uh, you've already given. Uh, you already discussed like meeting the meeting time and location with High Priest Archer, so you guys will be meeting in one of the uh, one of the ru an old ruins within some of the forests of Glavius. Uh, we will cut to that scene now. <coughs> Ooh. We're in the f ruins of a forest. Forest and ruins. Oh, this is an air genasi. He looks like an air genasi. Yeah. And, uh... Old okay, air temple. Can... Yeah, so this is High Priest Archer. And according to the intel given to you by Loki, he <clears throat> is the leader of the Church of Glavius, and he is one of the legitimately like uh, good, 
good leaders within the country. He wants to bring change, but he is too old to like, uh, you know, get things done in particular. And he also has like, he's not as morally f flexible as the rest of you. So he has some issues if like for things that are quite necessary. Um, you arrive there and uh, as a show of, as a show of force, as well, well, not really a show of force, but like you also, since he is like a man of faith as well, you realize, you all realize that it would be helpful if you meet him while your Kirins accompany you, since these creatures are like such holy creatures, you know, this yeah. might like. Uh, but may ano you know, meeting place nga nagsakay sa Kirins. Yeah, exactly. And it works, you know, he is genuinely like stunned meeting these five Kirins. You know, it's like, it's like if a. Uh, if a Catholic priest just sees like five angels, you know, just appear out of nowhere. So that's kind of like the same, I don't know. So the five Garens are just, you know, they're there. They're, go they're going to serve as lookouts at the moment. And then, yeah, here are the five of you. And uh, you see uh, High Priest Archer. He is an Air Genasi. And... Uh, even though he is like, he, he kind of is, what's that word? He's like, he has like a hunch, like he's, he's slouching, he's slouching basically. And, uh, he's walking with a cane. Uh, but you can see that he, like there, he has this intense look in his eyes that say that, you know, like he's not exact, like, even though he's old. Like he has, still has his wits with him, you know. So, uh, yeah. As you, the five of you approach, he tells you, "Oh, good, good, good day to the rest of you, uh, high priest. I mean, uh, Flo uh, Floki. It's uh, good of you to arrive here and and punctual of all times." Shady. Hi, priest Archer. Blessings be from the Lord and the Protector. These are my cousins. Please meet the Gosseltea clan. And then he proceeds to introduce everyone from left to right. And this is uh, Felicity, our clan leader. Felicity, <clears throat> the table is yours. Um. I actually approach High Priest Archer. High Priest, it's an honor to meet with you. Thank you for gracing my family and I with your presence. I assume that you already know what our intentions are, yes? Uh, yes, I have. I have been told that you intend to <clears throat> depose the corrupt system within this country. I am in full support, but I do hope you exercise restraint as you wrench the power of the crowd for yourselves. Of course. We do not believe in unjust violence, so you can trust that we will exhaust all diplomatic and peaceful ways for us to return peace and justice in your land. I've heard a lot of good things about you, High Priest, from Floki. Um, perhaps you might give us more intel as to how to proceed and meet with a king if we must or shall we set out and meet the different um what are that, politicians first what do you try think? 
trying to meet with the politicians will be fruitless. They're all bureaucrats who will find ways to delay your meetings, I am sure. You will, it'll be more efficient if you bust through their doors to have a word with them. And uh, as with the king, King Liam, the poor boy, his mother and father, are, they have died in the, with all the wars that have been happening. But, uh, and I had to crown him at such a young age as the king of this country. The poor boy, all he wants to do is, well, literally anything else but be king. I believe that if you could have a word with him, perhaps you can convince him to publicly pass his crown and to surrender the crown to you. If he bends the knee to you in, in a public event, perhaps that will be enough to convince the nobility that they have lost their puppet king. All right. <clears throat> Sounds like an easy task. So tell me, where, where is the castle? We shall proceed there at once. You will, you're, you're going to proceed there now? I don't see why not. Is there anything else that we should, that needs our attention? Well, not really. My dear niece, my... My dear Felicity, my niece, as I have mentioned, and I apologize, dear high priest, I have mentioned, it should be at the first day of... Greensprout. Uh, Green Sprout. Green Which is tomorrow. Green tomorrow. <clears throat> Green yes. Sprout. I'm pretty sure... We can all wait for tomorrow to wreak havoc. Okay, he looks very ostentatiously at your drink, right? <laughs> I see. I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> so defeated. Why do you so defeated? All right, I see. All right, so we shall make camp. Sounds good so far? Hmm. And then the high priest uh, nods. While he, uh, no, uh, while he, uh, while he's doing, uh, while you are, uh, you know, set finalizing everything that you have agreed on, uh, Killian is actually here. He is back in his home. He's back home, basically, and. Uh, also, uh, Solo Waltz, your bodyguard, is also here uh, accompanying him. They both approach you, and uh, they ask uh, Felicity, uh, you know, if they, they want to have a word with her. So they, they kind of, like, get into the conversation. Wow. And Killian says that... Uh, so, philosophy, uh, my priest, he, you know, just regards him as well. We have, uh, it, even though, like, uh, even if the, even if you're not able to bring most of your forces here, I can tell you that the, the mercenary company that I started in Harya Juf, most of them, are exiled knights of this country. So, uh, I also have some contacts within this, uh, within this country that I could convince to help us. Uh, basically, um, uh, what exactly is your game plan? Do you intend to just walk through the, I mean, front door, or are we going to go through that hidden passage I mentioned to you before? 
I would like to. Let's go through the hidden passage and not okay. draw unnecessary attention first. Okay, understood. I can guide all of you through the hidden passage. I have, um, I've, I've been through it before. Uh, the other problem is uh, there will be some nobles that might cause a problem if they are present in the castle. However, with your permission, I can send some of my men to apprehend them and ambush them on their way to the castle just so they're not present when, you know, when you, when, when we sneak around there. Do I have your permission to intercept all of those nobles? Please. Do so. Just all necessary means that you think will be beneficial to our cause. And don't worry as well. Don't worry too much. In case anything goes south, my uncle Fjordjung is here. <laughs> no worries. Me and my friends are ready. <laughs> we are. We are yeah. going. We are going south now. I thought Glavius is to the east. <laughs> Cousin, please. Cousin. So. <laughs> you see. Um. You see. Oh yeah, and he pulls up a standing stone and he starts saying like. Uh, intercept all the targets right now. You see that? And then just a quick, you know, cutaway scene. You see a few nobles, of course, making their way to the to the castle, to the Glavius castle beforehand. So we will cut to a scene of a carriage on their way. And then all of a sudden you see like, oh, a tree has blocked their path. And they're like, oh no, it's blocked. But unknown to them, they have been ambushed by Killian's mercenaries, the Sinstorm Company. Here is a quick image of what they look like. Oh, wow. Wow. Dwarves. Yeah, they've... Most they're supposed to be like humans. There are some dwarves, I'm sure. They're they're multiracial. They're <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's even one like a giant war forge behind there. That's uh, oh, wow. part of the. And, uh, so a lot of uh, there have been squads of the Sandstorm Company scattered around the country, intercepting like. Nobles that are like having that have magical powers or like very skilled fighters, they've all been intercepted just so their presence in the in the castle will you know just so they're not present in the castle. And so when Felicity, you know, makes her declaration, like no one's going to like have the power to fight back or you know give any of you guys a problem. So yeah. Uh, Killian is, you know, pulling his weight as well. And right now, uh, that is what's happening. Uh, you guys can, uh, we'll cut back to you guys in the ruins. We will say, in, uh, you know, uh, you guys are you know, setting up camp. Uh, you guys can interact with each other or ask questions among each other. You can even talk to the Kirins as well, whoever wants to. So, floor is yours, guys. Anyone wants to go? Uh, uh, Fjordring will go near Loki and say, Cousin, tonight you might see yes. certain rituals and practices that might be shocking to you as a man of faith i am giving i'm warning yes. you beforehand yes. that i have strayed far far away from the practices of your faith and my life as a paladin yeah cousin it has been a while. 
Flup looks up and down at uh, what's your name again? Fjord. 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 You've gotten taller. I hate this. You're taller than me. <laughs> Damn family jeans. Damn you, Freya. <laughs> I am sure whatever you do will be no oh, surprise oh. to me. Okay. <laughs> and if you should stray, I want you to know. I forgive you, my child. <laughs> and then, and then, no sign of the cross. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just goes and whisper, repent, 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 repent. <laughs> and then Pure Jung will say, I'm afraid you will be sorely disappointed. As, as Pure Ring moves a bit forward and starts kneeling and does his chanting and uh, these things come out. <laughs> so get to the corner, Floki. Oh no. He like throws holy water at them. <laughs> <laughs> no! Don't hurt my friends! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> no. Uncle, that is his new... That is what he meant by when he strayed very far. Wow. Uh, Chatter Apple Thief actually, yeah, Apple Thief up, uh, up approaches to you, Floki, and he tells you, you know, Floki, we have so much in common. You see, that Kieran over there standing next to Fjord Ring, that is, that is his warlock patron, actually. <laughs> Do you also like to play with children? No, I do not. <laughs> All I care about is apples, and I actually don't like children. Oh, that's such a shame. They bring you good tea. <laughs> will, you, will you just... Okay, I, I will it. gloss over that and focus on what I was trying to say, which was, you know, Initially, me and my brethren, Kirins over here, we were very concerned when Furigor, the the Kirin over there, he started practicing all sorts of dark magic, and even worse, he started spreading forbidden knowledge to other warlocks about it. But then we realized Furigor is trying to fulfill his his directive in a twisted way and perhaps Fjordring is also trying to do the same so <laughs> what I'm trying to say is don't be too conflicted about him using undead he mostly uses the corpses of terrible people anyway so it's not like those were made from innocent people that he cold-bloodedly murdered I hope no you're correct. Loki takes in. Yes? No, 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 go ahead. Loki takes in the um, Apple Thief's comments and he says, Well, that is a relief. You see, Apple Thief. And he makes sure he is out of earshot from your drink. Your drink and I go way back. We were both paladins of the same faith. I, he, broke his oath, unfortunately, and made a pact with Hexblade. I devoted myself to the Golden Warrior, to Lord Bishop, the patron of weapons. It is very unfortunate to see him like this. He is my cousin. He is dear to me. We used to play sticks and stones back when we were kids. He always wins. I hate it. But if you say that this is all part of a greater scheme, I will accept it. I am open-minded. I may be a little slow on things. But I can understand when someone's heart is set 
and I thank you. And he, <laughs> Floki forgot that he was like in the middle of like, he thought he was delivering a homily and he's like, I never see it. Raise his hands and stuff. But he ends it, he ends his song, he ends his um, conversation with a prayer for a pure drink. A silent prayer. Hmm. Uh, what trend is it? Apple Thief, uh, you know, he he actually pays he he does pay attention to what you have to say. He was like nod, she was nodding, and uh, you know, like uh, it's quite surprising for you as well. Like it's hard for you to. It's a bit like there's this uncanny valley element because. You know, th- this looks like a giant like stag to you, but it has this human intelligence of like, it's like paying attention to your words and like understanding you and like it's a bit unnerving a bit, but you know, because uh, because it's like, a, this is like a holy creature. You are, uh, you know, you're, you're not, you don't feel that sense of dread or like uh, the creepiness is like, you know, balanced out a bit. Apple Thief also like shares with you that if you notice Fury Gore's hoof over there is a prosthetic, the weapon that your cousin Fury Dring has bonded with is created from the bones of Fury Gore. So in the end, that weapon isn't something unholy, but it is created from something that was once good. So, whatever concerns you have of your cousin, strange way, I'm sure Furigor will do his best to guide him. And that's it. Loki replies, I am so glad to hear that Fjordring has a good company. And while he's saying this, he's like reaching over to Apple Thieves' hooves and looking, inspecting them. <laughs> he's like, you, you have really nice. <laughs> Can you give Would me? Would you mind amputating yourself? <laughs> <laughs> you have pretty nails. It does for a Criterion. Yes. <laughs> he, um, uh, she. She says, like, okay, just because Fury Gorg gave away his hoof doesn't mean the rest of us are okay with it. <laughs> <laughs> I am quite sure it has been a great ordeal for Fury Gorg to give up his hooves to Fury Drink. I will not do the same to you. Maybe 20 apples later? <laughs> no? 50? No. 100? <laughs> <laughs> he starts hovering high above the sky. <laughs> no. Regarding <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, <coughs> uh, for, hmm, I'm just checking my notes, making sure all the talking points are here. Um, ah, yeah, Russell Tail will approach the rest of you, and he tells you that, uh, children, I've been scouring around the place, and don't want to alarm you, but, and then (laughs) XDS interjects, and he says, it seems like there is an evil presence that is approaching us. Oh, no. We must be ready to meet them and kill them. We oh. sense fiends. Fiends. Um, and upon hearing this, Fjordring just says, uh, if you remember that from that, Vampire from the Twilight <laughs> Saga, the final battle, he just says, Finally. <laughs> 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 uh, 
um, you have other troops here actually gathered, but they they went on ahead to like meet the attackers. Uh, the rest of the Kirins have also like flown out to make sure na to take care of any excess like pockets of enemies. So most of you guys are standing here, lying in wait. Uh, I want you guys to do like a perception check or an investigation check, please. I am not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, the investigation. Oh, right. I have to do it one. What you have actually? Okay, okay. okay. Uh, okay. action search? Yeah, I'm. I have two levels in fighter. Um. Cause, cause, uh, uh Augustus and Regulus, like went through training. like military training when they were younger. Um. <clears throat> We were forced by our dad, and Reggie was yeah. like, nope, fuck that, but Augustus <laughs> continued. Yeah. yeah. I want to be a merman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The way you I'm role-playing my character... Are... You guys are like the product of like you know teen teen pregnancy as well. So you know, yeah. Faustus was eager to like, okay, I need to um, yeah, I need to go along with whatever the family <laughs> wants these boys to be. <laughs> you are all unwanted. <laughs> oh. I'm not. I'm not playing my character that like accurately because his intelligence is actually twenty. Although his wisdom is gonna ask. although his wisdom is nine, so maybe like he doesn't. Yeah, he's a smart bro. He's uh, brilliant but lazy, you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah, with um with Reggie's um score of twenty two, you were able to notice. Uh, while most of your troops are able to fend off the attackers well, you see a few zombies have passed by and mm. are approaching you guys in the area. Okay, they're not that big. They're they're like five feet. So nope. they are approaching you guys over here. And then they're they're fast. They are uh they're not like slow walkers. You they can copy, are. You can copy paste the. Um... Okay, gotcha. <clears throat> and it'll retain the same size as the one you copied. Oh yeah, here it is. Well, if you just control C, control V. Ah, okay. Ah, got it. Oh, cool. <laughs> Only Reggie noticed that? Uh eventually the rest of you you know notice because <laughs> But like basically Reggie yeah. has a chance to alert the rest a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> So here are some pockets of zombies approaching. Sure. Uh, Familia, and... watch out! There is a zombie. <laughs> <laughs> There's zombies so, everywhere. I want all of you to roll initiative, please. Let's hey. Go. In it begin. Zombies where? <laughs> join in, huh? In it join. Uh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> The leader is shocked. Finish it. like, Ugly. Reggie was the one who noticed the man. <laughs> the voice was just. 
too distracting. <laughs> yeah. You were too stunned to react, you know? You're like, oh my god. <laughs> oh, the brothers tied. Nice. Dope. <laughs> Uh is your is it a church for me? Oh no, I know. Someone sure. writes the initiative tracker. Uh, wait. No. Okay. Yeah, you have to click their names and then add to initiative. Oh okay. I have to put their face. Oh. I add to initiative with people's working. Felicity. I can't select Felicity. <coughs> yeah, neither oh, can why? I. I don't know. I don't know why, why that is. It's the control of the DM. Oh, really? We're being an avatar of them. I think, yeah, I think Rafi or one of you. Mika or Rafi turned Felicity into like a like locked Felicity. I oh, is she locked? Any. Where? Let me. It's the first, yeah, first button. Oh, there, okay. she's unlocked now. There, there you go. You guys have time to like get into like make a formation if you want to. By the way, ah. dope. Uh, would like Reggie. to be in front of the priest. Um, oh really? Uh, I'll reach Archer. He he'll help, but he'll be. I won't oh. make him take turns. That will take time. Oh, you wow. see, they're helping. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, you can have Bethany. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm. I guess we're <clears throat> letting <clears throat> Fjordring handle the the east side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. Have you seen the army that he has? <laughs> 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 you got that. He, he's got okay, it. It's okay. <laughs> Our uncle, we have to help him. He looks behind us and there's a full army. Oh, no, never I mind think, that, man. I think he's here. A tea of your drink is okay. Okay. Uh, so the greater zombies will take their turns first. They rolled 19. So uh, they will start attacking let me look up there oh, here it is okay so this one will approach and run to augustus and he will start attacking mm -hmm. see if it so what is your ac again augustus okay Twenty-one. We can see your rolls, by the way. It's not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, let me let me make this unseen. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, I rolled uh, fifteen plus. One of them hit at least. So okay. that will be. Hello. You got 11 points of damage in total. He tries to swipe at you with his claws. You block one with your shield, but one of them managed to, uh, he managed to graze your skin. Ouch. Oh, uh, he takes psychic damage. Oh my gosh. Okay. I forgot that. That is an auto thing, right? Yeah, when a creature hits you with an attack, it takes five psychic damage if you're not incapacitated. Wow. Amazing. Okay. Amazing. 
Amazing. Next, uh, one of them will run to Felicity. <clears throat> he will also try to attack you. Uh, Felicity, your AC is 21. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at her. Uh, mm -hmm. The highest. Uh, the highest is uh, 25. Do you want to take a reaction? Um. They will. Oh. <laughs> 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 um. Yeah. Please. Okay. Um, reaction. Uh, it's a reaction. A reaction can be a spell, right? Shield. Yes, you can cast shield as a reaction. Yes, please. Okay. Shield. Uh, sorry, spell. Cast. Shield. Cast. Okay, nice. So, as he runs towards you, he tries to cut at you with his claws, but as a reaction, you create a golden shield of energy blocking all of his attacks, so none of them hits you. Another zombie tries to approach you and also scratch at you, Felicity. Hopefully your shield will protect you. But it does. It doesn't work as well. One of them tries to run at Floki. So what is your AC, Floki? It's, uh, oh, I have my two-hander right now, so it's 21. Okay. It's fine. It he misses as well. Another one will run the Reggie. Twenty one. All of our AC is twenty one. Okay. Twenty. Is it actually? What? What's your drinks AC? Uh, twenty three. Ah. Uh, uh, you're a little older than our generation. So. <laughs> <laughs> Your drink is also being attacked by the zombies, and wow, I'm really okay. You, oh, have, okay, to, you have to stop. He'll target one zombie, will target his fellow zombie. Uh, what is the AC of this zombie right next to uh? Z7. Um, it is a gust, so it is uh, 13. 13. Okay, this one both attacks hit. Yes. Gust, so the gust will damage. And it will be. Ooh, uh, hold on. Sick! Bless. This year, gas is immune to necrotic damage. Let me check. Uh, immunity. Me. It's immune to poison, but it is resistant to necrotic. I understand. So, okay. so it's in, half that, in that case, he will get. Uh, So just to be specific, he get he gets fifteen bludgeoning damage in total. But then he is resistant to this one, so it's necrotic. He gets eight points total of uh, necrotic damage. I also just realized, uh, who has taken damage so far? It's just Augustus, right? Mm -hmm. Have you taken damage also, Felicity? I almost I forgot. No, I shielded. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, happened to me. Because I, I forgot, I realized, like, you got hit, Augustus, but then you're resistant to necrotic damage, so... Uh, what was the damage you got so far? Uh, I got 11. 11. Uh, let's just say you didn't get, like, 6 damage, you only have 5 damage total. Yeah. 
How much damage did the gas take? Gas yes, in five. total he takes eight. Uh, eight. Wait. Uh, eight plus fifty. That's twenty percent <coughs> of damage total. How much is that? Twenty. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me check. Yeah, okay, okay, pa, okay, pa. So, Another okay, zombie will pa. try to attack Re Reggie. 21 and EC, let's... Okay, none of them hit either. And the last zombie will try to attack your drain. And he misses as well. So, yep, that's all of the zombies' turn. Next is Reggie's turn. <clears throat> Reggie. It's all the zombies. Uh... Okay, so... Reggie is going to <clears throat> huh? I love it and the turning like that, that, that is going to how many can I do this? <clears throat> Reggie is gonna <clears throat> point to the the two zombies like next to him z2 and z3 yeah. and he's gonna spin around in a circle uh -huh. and then he's gonna start to moonwalk and then he's gonna start to like <clears throat> twitch as if he himself is turning into a zombie uh -huh. and then <clears throat> Music is gonna emulate from him. It's gonna be it's gonna be like Michael Jackson's thriller. Oh, okay. <laughs> and he casts Otto's irresistible dance on both of these guys. Awesome. Nice. Oh, very thriller vibe. You get um you get a wishbone for that. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Dope. So both these zombies have to make a wisdom save DC twenty one. Okay. Uh which zombies Z two and three, right? Yes, sir. The ones next to Reggie. Okay. Three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no music like that. <laughs> what I saw in my head. It's a dance party. Dance with me. Uh, Z2 fails. Uh, and what is your DC again? 21. They both fail. Yes, sir. Hey, they start hey, doing hey. the thriller with Reggie. Nice. Nice. Uh, Reggie is now... Is this concentration? It is, right? It is. <clears throat> and then... That's my action is... My bonus bonus action <clears throat> is uh, like during the chorus of Thriller, like just <laughs> uh, he <laughs> he like starts to hover, and then his wings, whoosh, spectral radiant wings, whoosh, as he uh, the goes into his celestial revelation. No. Transforms and uh, bright light will radiate from him, and he does like a moonwalk while hovering, so he's not even touching the ground. And yeah, I end my turn. So these two dumb zombies take six. Wait, wait, hang on. Before I decide that, I want to check if Otto's irresistible dance will. Go away if they take damage. Oh, oh, okay. 
Uh, I don't think so. It's a disadvantage. Dexterity save them while targets fell and other creatures have advantage. At an action, dancing creature may. Nope. So they will take damage. It's just. Just six damage each. While, okay. Uh, yes, while I turn into. A glowy, a glowy, glowy boy. Glowy <clears throat> boy. And uh, I'll just, I'll just hover five feet up. That's it. Okay. So just to clarify, they take six damage, right? Each of them. Yes, sir. Okay, sick. All right. Yes. Next would <laughs> be. Augustus' turn. Yes. Uh, okay. So first thing, uh, Gus does is hold on. So for my action, this is a bonus action. Okay. Um, hold on. Okay, so for the bonus action, how long is this? About one minute. Okay. Um, yeah, for, for the bonus action, boss Mike holds the Concordia and the shield like, to his chest. And then mm -hmm. starts uh, he matters. Oh, wait, I had this. Uh, hold on. No, no. He muttered something. He muttered something in Latin. I had this, but I forgot what it was. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh, like, <clears throat> Spectre starts, the spectral stuff starts sprouting from the ground and then envelops him and then it goes into the sword Ooh. and yeah i cast spirit shroud at four oh no fifth fifth level Ooh. okay yeah that's spirit shroud at fifth fifth level uh and then for my main action I will. I'll just mm -hmm. attack. I'll strike. Oh, okay. I'll strike at. Okay. Those, those zombies are dancing. I'll strike at the zombie who attacked. Uh, for Z1. Okay. Right. I'll attack with Concordia. He rolled the hit. I knocked one. <laughs> wow. What a shame. <laughs> uh, extra attack. Okay. That's okay. It's okay. Does a 22 hit? Yes, 22 will hit. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, that's 22 to hit. That's a uh, 14 damage so far. Do I smite this? Well, it's a fiend, right? These are undead. They're undead. Uh, where's my thing? They're undead. Okay, they're undead. So. Yeah, so yeah, there's plus one to it. So I will smite at. I guess just. Just second level right now. Okay. Yeah, smite at second level. So that's 3d8. Uh, yeah, so 3d8, uh, 4d8. Uh, five D eight seventeen. Okay, but sorry, uh, that was three D eight from the smite 
plus 1d8 for being undead. Uh -huh. So that's 4d8. Uh, plus one from the improved divine smite, so that's five d eight, and then plus two d eight for the spirit trap, seven d eight. Nice. Let's go. That's a lot. <clears throat> that's a lot of d eight. <laughs> Thirty two. Nice. Okay. So that's forty six total. Forty six. Okay. Uh. That was the extra attack already. Uh, and then... Do I see anyone... Fjordring? Are you right next to any zombie? Yes, yes. Yeah. Right? I am. Okay. Uh, then I can choose to... Oh, you can take a reaction to attack. I think you're within 60 feet. Okay. Ooh, see, 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 I'll use that reaction. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so anyway, that was it for my thing, I think. I've done so I'll, I'll attack? Yeah, you can attack. Okay. All right. Okay, I will attack right. the zombie in front of me. 27 to hit. Yes, that hits. 55 damage. Okay. <laughs> we have three paladins right now. Yes. yes. Oh my <laughs> god. <laughs> I, was, I was like, let them have fun, you know, let's <laughs> undead and fiends, sure. Sheesh. 56, no? Yes, yeah, Z8. Okay, not taken. <laughs> Yeah, so that's my reaction. Uh, can I ask, how much is the necrotic damage for this one? Mm, no necrotic. Oh, no necrotic? Okay. Okay. Uh, is there, no, wala, wala, no necrotic. Not sure. Okay. Alright. So, does that end your turn, Augustus? I think that's it, yes. Alright. Now... As you are uh, fighting, something happens. Oh my god, what is that? Hold on. Trying to... Okay. By the way, I hear barking outside. Who is, who is that? It's probably mine. Uh, okay. I think it's zombie. <laughs> You know what's weird? Like, you can hear the barking of the dogs, but I don't know if the cat... Do you hear the cat meowing? No. That's so weird. Anyway. Is okay. that like an existential question? <laughs> <For a cat>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. if, uh, if you fall in the forest did, and no one hears you, did you really fall? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh... As you um as you guys are fighting Felicity and Floki, you notice um in the corner of your eye the three figures suddenly um appear uh in the corner of your eye. Uh, you guys notice these fox like creatures uh, materializing in the air and they're like floating in the sky. Uh, they seem to be like human ones, but they have uh, be some fox-shaped like uh, faces, and uh, you notice that uh, each of them are like casting spell. Uh, one of them starts casting a spell on Augustus. And Augustus, you feel your armor glowing orange hot. Oh no. Uh, you receive 2d8 fire damage from this. Your spell. And we are... Okay. Alright. No. <laughs> no. Reggie points up at which, whoever, which one was that? Uh, I like that you. I like that you name them after the three kings. 
Yeah. So, oh, Caspar, point, point it at Caspar is like, and nobody mess with my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Do not mess with his armor. I will inherit that in the future. <laughs> Hand me down. Yeah. <laughs> All the good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then, so that's one counter. Two. Oh. Yeah, that's it. And then, uh, so that's been countered. So Caspar's uh, spell isn't working. And then Melchior will be casting his spell. And you notice that uh, for those who are looking at him, his hand is glowing black and he is pointing it at Floki. And Floki, I need you to do a constitution saving throw, please. All right, I do that with a save. I mean, sorry, an advantage. No. Uh, why are you doing it with advantage? Because he's the All boss. Right. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, Paladin stuff. Hold on, let me check. Oh, is it? Uh, I... Okay, go on. Uh, what was it called? <laughs> what was it called? I'm looking for the exact rate. Our... Look at your um, features. Aura of protection. There you go. So, um, I have two auras, one that gives you plus two bonuses to all saving throws, Duh. and another that gives you resistance to damage from spells. Duh. Nice. Okay. So, like, free. Resistance so, from damage? What? Half there, all damage? Yeah. Right? <laughs> For spells? <laughs> from... oh. They, uh, uh, how the hell do you do this again? I've just been a while for me. Uh, exclamation mm. point as uh, con advantage. <laughs> Critical. Nice. Okay. So what happened was Critical. Critical. Uh, what? <laughs> you you notice that uh, as uh. Melchior was pointing his finger at you. He casted the finger of death spell on you, Floki. However, because of your abilities as a paladin, uh, you're able to shrug off the effects of the finger of death. And yeah, instead of getting... Uh, the total was 59 points of damage. It's necrotic. And since you success, you were successfully saving it, uh, you get half. So half of 59, that is... Two. Uh, 59. Two damage. No. <laughs> 24. <laughs> oh, 20. sorry, 20, 29? 59 is the total, so he halves it because he yeah. saved. 59 is the total, so and then 29, because it's half, then take. Yeah. Is it and half? I have a, wait, I have half from no, the save. Round down, half guys. Half. It's, it's round half down. and then round down, yes. Half then yes. round down. Oh, so it's. 28. Hold on, do I get any um, half from the spell? Yeah, half, yes, half yes, you do. Check. So you half it again. Yeah. Well, so, sorry. two. <laughs> no, it's, it is 29, yeah, right? Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's 14, guys, guys, it's 14. Oh my god. Yeah. 14. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But then you know what? He's also resistant to necrotic, so he has 14 again, so it's just 7. Seven. seven. Yeah. See, then... My initial 2 was not that far off. <laughs> yeah, it's not that far. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm very You're proud of that. I was <laughs> off by 5 points. The off my five. <laughs> <laughs> the niece and nephew is very good in math. Very good. <laughs> oh so, essentially, a deadly spell, and Floki just shrugs it off without any issue, really. Easy. Yeah. And uh, his faith in the bishop. Yeah. <laughs> Next will be 
Next will be Balthazar. You see lightning arc throughout his hand, and he starts blasting chain lightning, starting from Felicity, and it will spread to Floki, Augustus, and Reggie. So that's so cool. I mean, not for us. Uh, but... All four of you, please do a dexterity saving throw. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, everyone also gets plus. Oh wait! Oh, wow. what is this? I got advantage, advantage too. Yeah, both of us <laughs> yes, have advantage. Save yes, Dex ADV, and then what's the bonus? Plus two from from Floki, and then plus something from Aura of Protection plus five. So plus seven oh, total. Plus seven. Yeah. Uh this is what you type, Mika. Please, yes, please. That's what you type. Dex. Same. Let's see. Wow, that's scary. My rolls kind of. I rolled kinda... in that one. <laughs> oh no! Wow. <laughs> yeah, because you just. <laughs> you, you, no, but you have the yes, advantage. Oh wait, not seven. I have. I also rolled that one. Sorry, that's not twelve. That's supposed to be just. Uh, that's supposed. To, that's minus five, so it's even lower. No, but uh, isn't it supposed to be with advantage? Yeah, well, uh, no, it's a no, it's a bonus, no. not advantage. Sorry. Bonus. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, I know I failed. That's minus five, supposed to be. <laughs> Mika and I good. have advantage because of our arch magi stuff. Yeah. yeah. Rob. Robe and uh, she has a staff. Staff. Hey, hey. For those who failed, you get 43 points of lightning damage. It's a DC. Oof. And for those who save, you get 21 points of lightning damage. What's the DC? So, uh, the DC is 17. Ah. So I saved and get 17. Oh, what was it? What's the half? 21. Uh, you do anything yeah. about that, Raph? No. 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 With, you cannot shield this one, okay? This is an absurdity attack. Not, uh, attack you can absorb absorb elements if you have. Yeah, I have, but like, I use them because of my reaction. Oh, yeah. So 21 damage, Raph, no? Oh, 21 damage. damage. 43. Oh, I have to roll to. Wait, uh, you saved Loki? Didn't you get a nap one? That one. <clears throat> I think he helped it because of resistance. Oh, oh uh, yeah. it's, 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 no, it's it's my aura. Yeah, my aura warding. All yes. damage from spells is half. Yeah. If yeah. he multiclass yeah. to like like barbarian, also bear 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 totem bear. Oh, forget that. So cool. Concentration check. Yeah. Uh, half. So it has to be 21. And you also get half from the my aura. Oh yeah, okay, so I pass. Yay! What? Yeah. Half from oh, what? Like oh wait, I also get half damage. Aura of warding, it um, halves spells, oh. uh, damage from spells. Oh, for, okay, for so everyone around you? Them. Yeah, it's my paladin thing. I thought it's just you, it's also for us? Really? Yeah, it's for everyone. Whoa! So, so, so twenty from so twenty-one damage. Kay ten na lang. Yeah. So Felicity and Reggie, you also get minus. Whoa! What? Oh, that shit. is so crazy. You know, we should just have our, you know, like the new Gasatoya army is just an army of paladins. Paladins. <laughs> <laughs> everyone all together. Exactly. The, the amen. Everyone. Make an ult to Rico Bishop. Amen. <laughs> All hail uh, the Saffron Soldier. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <clears throat> Ten. That's wow. so crazy. What? Okay, I'll I'll give Floki a wishbone for that. Hey. So, Yay. Um, 
now now's the time that Rafi doesn't stops pulling his punches. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna uh, I thought I was oh, no. like, I thought like oh I'll not fuck around anymore. Let me throw three, you know, scenes up now. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> just a, I need more. <laughs> oh, I forgot man. to add my. I will add my, my wishbone from last time. A crazy. Wait, okay, okay. Uh, me too. Me too. I'm. Uh, I'm very stunned by this. Okay. Uh, so that is some. Um, the arc. These some um, spellcasters are quite shocked at how the Gosalteus are shrugging yeah. off the strongest spells. So, Losers. now they're a, bit, they're a bit confident initially, but now they're like, what the fuck are they? <laughs> <laughs> As they should. Who, who, they're so mad at whoever employed them to kill you guys. So, okay, next is Fjordring's turn. Let's get it's it. your time to shine. Uh, one man, uh, one man army. Z8 again. Okay. And it's 30, a critical! Oh. Critical! Critical oh, hit! Uh, 77! He's dead! He's the dead! Here. <laughs> you cleave them in half. <laughs> okay, and then I will attack Z9 okay. with. Uh, I'll use my bonus action to attack Z9 because great weapon master. If I kill yeah. someone, I can use bonus yeah. action to attack. Yeah. Okay, it's 26 to hit. It hits. 51 damage. 51 taken. And then it. Uh, okay, I will attack with my second attack. Extra okay. attack. Extra attack. 22 to hit. Ooh, 65 damage. She's dead. He is chopped in half as well. And he's okay. dead. And then time for the zombies to do the thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. I will use zombie um, arm, zombie violence. So Ghast will attack first. <gasps> Oops. 21 to hit. Okay, that hits. 19 damage. 19. Okay. Is it? Uh, is there any necrotic damage to it? No. Let me check. Are they immune or he's, resistant to it? He's resistant to cold and necrotic, and he's immune to poison. It's all piercing. So. Okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 19, right? <laughs> yeah, 19. And then the ghouls will attack. Yeah. Okay, so I will attack the ghoul two times, two of them. 13 to hit. Does that hit? Uh, let me check. That does not hit. Okay, the second ghoul will attack. 24 to hit. That will hit. 11 damage. Okay, taken. And Mr. White is going to let's go, Mr. White attack yeah. with his long sword. Science, bitch! <laughs> ha, magnets. Okay. Um, Thirty-one to hit. Well, let's go. Well, One man army. Damage. Nineteen, nineteen damage. Yeah. Okay, take it. And then last attack for Mr. White. 24 to hit. That hits. 17 damage. Okay. Yep, that is it. Wow, that is so cool. Being a it's summoner is count. pretty cool. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> those scenes where it's like... You think you can take me? You and what army? And then if your dream just like summons <laughs> this <laughs> army. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Oh, that's so okay. sick. Okay. 
Nice. Is that your turn for your drink? Yes, that is the end of my turn. Z7 is yeah. still alive? Yeah, he's still alive. What? If it's from your drink, he would have been dead. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, next is Loki's turn. Oh, all right. Hey, hold on. By the way, oh. these guys are flying in the air. They're 40 feet off the ground. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't have flag. <laughs> Loki, uh, Loki looks at Augustus firstly. Mm -hmm. He, uh, looks at Augustus with like a sense of pride and says, I'm so proud you've become a paladin. <laughs> 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 he looks at Fjord during it, it's like, you should have stayed, wise one. This is how you do it. <laughs> and Floki makes a um, like a 180, like a back turn, with mm -hmm. uh, reckless abandon with Z4 attacking him. <laughs> oh, okay. That means... He like steps out of the. You have a free. Uh, yeah, he he will take this opportunity. He misses. He misses. All right. So Oh wait, hold on. I don't want to hurt uh, no kasi, um his minions. Kay, 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 yeah, that would still hit. So I'm gonna. Those are undead, the baboom. Your minions. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So just without range, uh, outside of range. Floki, he pulls that uh, contrary to most of a picture of a cleric. Uh, Floki does not wear wield the shield. He brings out a huge mall a hammer <laughs> it's um yeah it's like where that bigger come from than, yeah i don't know it's like a, a tardis and then he um he brings it in front of him holds it with two hands he closes his eyes he reverses it so that the head is downwards brings it to the ground he kneels in a silent prayer he says Almighty golden warrior, in this hour of darkness, we beseech thee to smite the undead with your divine power. All undead within 30 feet will make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. Let's go. That's that reminds me of Uther. Um... That is so Uther when he was younger. Yeah. <laughs> within 30 feet. So that's everyone here and. Will it hit uh, Fear Drinks Undead as well? No, I, I uh, just out of range. Okay, okay. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. <clears throat> see. I will roll six d20s and see. Ha. Huh. Oh, you need a 19 fuck. with. Okay. 19. Let me check my. Oh, okay, wait. Uh... This is some um, turn. Is this destroy undead or turn undead? Destroy undead. Oh, shit. Okay. Destroy. <laughs> Let's go. Fuck. Okay. Everyone except Z2 has been as as Loki as you bring down your mall and you steer prayer to Rico Bishop. You actually see in the distance uh you see Gosopeo flying by. As he is the mount of Rico Bishop, he hears your prayers and as an agent of Rico Bishop and Baron, he also answers it directly. He does a drive by and releases five golden lightning strikes and kills five zombies. Leaving on the I just got those bombs from that. Awesome. <laughs> does a drive by. <laughs> Takes out like some yeah. mach machine guns. <laughs> <laughs> he has like a gold plated machine gun in there. Pew 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 pew. Jeez. 
We some gangster shit. <laughs> <laughs> the gussle tail gang. Yeah, see, that's where Ronan gets it, you know. This is how he, this is why he does the sideway. Yeah. Sideway shooting. <laughs> yeah. Vigilante. Yeah, exactly. Some <laughs> girls. <laughs> but yeah, right. gussle tail, like. Appear stands here, unleashes five golden lightning, and uh, for a brief second, Floki, you see a silhouette of like Rico Bishop, like sitting on Russell Tail, but he disappears quickly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, all of that except for C2 is remains. C2 still dance. Floki, yeah. Floki lets out a very audible smirk. That can be heard from 50 feet away. Fella, <laughs> 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 dude. No, that's cleric, pala. And yeah. then, um, so that's for my action. Mm -hmm. uh, while uh, the whole time, Floki kept his eyes closed, both hands on the hilt of his hammer, head downwards on the ground. He lets go of one of his hands so that only one hand is supporting the hammer. His one hand touches the ground. He will then say another prayer as if in continuation of the previous one. Let your light pierce through, banish their malevolence from our midst. And that is a. What's bonus action, Minisa? Yeah. I had the thing for this. Ah, yeah. Mass healing word. Ooh. Uh, at oh. level seven, so that's I think that's five d four. What? <laughs> Automatic heal max. Oh, no, no, it's 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 just healing words, so it's not uh not too big. Yeah, but... I'm not gonna cast it because I don't know how to. Uh, well, how do you? Uh, there, number two. Eighteen. Wow, I'm full health. <laughs> oh oh man, I got ones. Anyway. Yeah, that's it. Just eighteen for, um, including. I was. I want to say one of one of the whites, <laughs> because I was looking at all that was injured, and I I see like one of of pure drinks whites are injured. <laughs> but, but no, it's going to hurt you. Healing, now I hear the cat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, everyone healing, heal up for 18. Mass healing word is one of my like go to uh, spells for the cleric in BG3. <laughs> oh, it's handy though, like a bonus um, action. Um, mass healing word, it does not, it has no effect on undead, and, uh, unfortunately. That's the thing. Sad. Oh, really? So it can heal the white? <laughs> it cannot heal the white. Oh. It doesn't do anything to them. It's you just a word. It. it doesn't you hurt. It doesn't. Yeah. Well, uh, Floki does not know that. Floki, uh, you see one of the whites turn green. Or, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. He means well. He, he, he felt it, but it didn't work on him. But he looks at you and gives a bow. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> and that ends my action. My turn. Hey. Yeah. When you when you casted that, like some of the you see a healing pulse actually come from Gosalteo as well, and like he's uh, also like answering your prayer directly since he's like an agent of like the god that you worship. So you're you literally have like the answer to your prayers nearby. <laughs> <laughs> literally. Um, no. I thought he was gonna shoot us. <laughs> okay. After that, last but not least is Felicity. What is um Okay, um so that na ni Tanan, including kaning nag dance tapad ni Ang Zitu, he's the only remaining one dancing. He's dancing. Oh, can't reach him anyway. Um from here I would like to cast Scorching Ray at the eighth level for these three um, kings, I mean, fox thingies. Okay. Uh, you'll have to, you'll have Five. to divide them evenly. Like, yes. uh, yes. or are you, are you three each? 
uh, let's see. Your rays are at level two. It's three. At level so, eight. Nine, nine rays. Ooh. So three okay. each, right? Yeah. yeah, they can all have three each. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Yeah. So as you unleash your, uh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Roll to attack for each of them. Uh, roll three d twenty first for to hit Balthazar. Three d twenties. Yeah. Oh, okay. To determine like if the race hit them. Does that, that does not hit. His uh, let's see. Because plus what? What is your what is your yeah. spell attack? Yeah, thirteen. Thirteen. Huh? Okay, the lowest is seven. So lowest uh, is 20. twenty. It's twenty. And yep, it's twenty-one, that, twenty-one, twenty. Yeah, that they all hit Balthazar. So, uh, roll three. three. It's six d six for all of them for the total. Six d six. Yeah, sixty-six. Oh, right. Sixty-six damage. Okay. Okay, and then another three D twenties. Yeah, this time to hit uh Melchior. That there's a one Critical double. So you double the damage. So you roll. Oh wait, I'm um, five. Three, oh shit! They all hit actually. So you roll. Uh, seven. Eight D six. Eight D six. Yeah. D6. Yeah. Oh. All right. Eight. What does that have? Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Oh, lower than. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's a lower. lot of ones. <laughs> a lot of. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, repeat again the word yes, Caspar. Caspar. Everything hits still. Everything hits still, yeah. So this one is a 66. 66. 66. 23. Okay. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Twenty three, and then for my bonus action, I would like to um would like to do my celestial rev. I did forward, move forward, go first. No. Okay. Yeah, forward, go first here, mm -hmm. and then. Um, can I? Because I'm on my wing boots, I can fly also, right? Yes, I, yes, I, I, I did my scorching ray. So I would yes. also like to fly 40 feet above. Can I do that? How uh, my flying speed. Your flying speed, I believe, with your wing boots, you have a flying speed that's equal to your movement. Let me double check. I believe with, if it's equal to your flying speed, that means you can only fly like 30 feet off the ground. Yes, yeah. I would like to do that then. Okay. Can I do that? If yes. You walk now, 10? Okay, okay. Uh, if you and... walk 10 feet, then you have 20 feet of movement now. So ah. you can either fly from where you were standing originally or it's like you will be only doing 20 feet. You walked already 10 feet forward, man. That's the problem. Forward. I'll forward. I'll forward long and then I'll be. I'll fly and then just forward. Can I think my go Rossi? I think my go. Okay, Rara. Okay, Rara. Move forward, Draco. Walk okay. 10 feet and then fly 20. Okay. Yeah. Uh, let me see. My go Rossi is in my. Kay, my 
celestial revelation it needs people <clears throat> you can just you can just fly diagonally and you'll be 30 feet up in the air that is true son sure i'll mm -hmm. do that i'll do that then and then okay. my celestial revelation it um kind of 10 feet of me creatures 10 feet of me Raph, will need to do a charisma saving throw or become frightened. So if I fly diagonally, who will that affect? Just Melchior and Balthazar? You right. have to be like there. I think I'm in the area. No, There's if Felicity is there, Floki will yeah. not be affected. There then. Fly diagonally right there. Possible, Yara? Yes. All right. I'll do that. Charisma saving throw for Melchior and Balthazar. Okay. I will do Melchior and Balthazar. Melchior, not here, actually. Or... Uh, Rafi changed the names a little bit. Oh. Yeah. I don't want the Bible to sue me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> or he's sued by God. God will be like, no. <laughs> Plagiarism. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is for Balthasar and Melchior. Uh, what, mm. what, is, what is your save? 19. <laughs> okay. So you're unleashing your celestial revelation, huh? Uh huh. Okay. So. As you are doing that, your celestial revelation is quite different from the usual. Uh, because of your connection to like psychic energies, uh, as you manifest your celestial revelation, you start slowly turning into like a biblically accurate angel instead. You still have your human shape. But you grow like fiery wings, and it looks like there are eyes in your wings. You grow eyes everywhere. You have flames erupting from your body. Your clothes are still fine, though. It's more like spiritual fire. Mm -hmm. And it hurts to look at you. The two, yes. the two fiends here, they are now afraid of you. Yes. And they're regretting their life choices for messing with all of you. <laughs> As they should. Yeah. Turn. You notice, however, that when you strike them with Scorching Ray, it looks like they are shrugging it off. They are resistant to fire damage. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Good to know. There. End of so, turn. End of turn. Uh, here. I Top let them the... know, by the way, I let them know, my uh, family members, that they're resistant to damage. Fire damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, gotcha. Mm -hmm. So everyone now know. Mm -hmm. And uh, as it's top of the round, uh, just to make it easy, Gosalpay will do another drive by again. Thank you. So that you guys can focus on on these guys now. All right. Next, it will be Reggie. Reggie's turn now. Reggie. Uh, okay. Reggie will also fly towards her 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Like here mm -hmm. uh, uh 35 feet up no okay i wait huh they can counter spell me that. <laughs> 35 they can counter spell me Oh, if they counter spell me, they will counter spell me. <laughs> um, let's do it. 
Let's do the counter spell. Which is a creature you can see on there. Amy. What is the uh, level of this hall? Which is a creature in the other Sure, let's do it. <clears throat> I am casting a spell. Okay. Hang on. Paralyzed. What does paralyzed do again? Hang on, huh? D and D paralyzed. Condition. Incapacitated. They won't drop. They won't fall down, deva. Right? Because they're yeah, flying. One yeah. One the last time. That's what. They'll just but, but they'll take damage. Out. Oh, they will take advantage from attacks uh, that are melee. They can't move. Incapacitated. Even even Kwan, because I, I don't think they fall prone. Yeah. yeah. They just stay How do I? They so are. they they just incapacitated. Mm. So even ranged uh uh Kwan Japon advantage. If I what are if it's something that makes their speed drop to zero that also doesn't mean they fall down. It's magic. You're flying with magic. They're magically flying. So what happens if I dispel magic? <laughs> I was wondering the same thing. Um, hmm. I'll let you do a free arcana check. Sure. See arcana. I'm I'm not gonna Yeah, let's fucking go. <laughs> 31 natural 20 <laughs> plus 11 please don't kill us you today. tell me everything <laughs> what is their weakness as you no as you fly and observe them you quickly figure out they're not concentrating on any flight spell they're flying in their own power yes so, no their magic isn't going to make them fall okay that's for sure Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, hang on. You want them to fall, knocking them out is probably like best the best way. No, Reggie's not a damaging per damage dealer, so Reggie is gonna do a motivational speech. No, he's not uh he's gonna <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear the speech. Let's hear the speech. He's going to do a stand up bit. That's <laughs> Vaffanculo. A spaghetti pizzeria. I'm also stumped because I can't fly. I'll probably speak with animals or something. <laughs> Wait, huh? hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Sorry, sorry. Uh, okay, it's a okay. spellcaster uh, problems. For Augustus, plan your moves as well in advance. Yes, sir. Word. No. Well, I'm still not over the fact that uh, Floki just tanked a finger of that spell. I thought that was gonna be. I thought I was gonna scare everyone. Like, oh shit, he's got finger of the. Oh my god. <laughs> Seven damage. Single digit damage. That's yeah. a. What a small finger. <laughs> Ooh. It's more like a. It's more like a poke of poke of discomfort. Poke of death. I was gonna say something, but I think I'm gonna be overstepping. <laughs> it's a back finger. <laughs> Magically influenced creature. God damn it, man! I'm the. I don't. Uh... They're flying. They're flying. They're flying in their own power. They're not like concentrating on the flight spell. That's for sure. That's you know what? what? So you're not undead, right? Because they didn't. 
they, they, yeah, they were not affected, affected as well by the turn death. Okay, the spell will be to this creature while it's magical. Each creature in the spell will. Ah! Okay. Hang on, I need to draw circles. Okay, um, go. If, if the circle. Felicities. Okay, if. Actually, uh, just to also like not give you uh, grief, because I am going. I'm planning to counter spell it, so whatever spell you, you need to cast, like. That's fine. Maybe you want to make it higher, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Hide behind cover. Uh, bomb. 30. If it's there. If it's here. 20, 20, 30. No, I cannot do that there. If it's here. I cannot if it's here. Not sure, Caspar. Would you say this? Oh, wait, no, let me change the color so it's easier to see. Would you say this circle hits both Melchior and Caspar? I will say yes. Dope. In that case, I will not be moving to this location as of yet. I'll be here first. And then the spell I'm casting there. Uh, Reggie is muttering an incantation that sounds a lot like uh, garbled, garbled nonsense. But before he does that, he will say some <laughs> unsettling words to Melchior as a bonus action. And I use one point of my Bardic Inspiration to do this so that Melchior will subtract 1d8 from his next saving throw. And then, so my action is casting this spell. I am... Um, uh, Reggie is shouting words like, uh, words like a hamburger, a pizzeria, spaghetti, and then he's casting confusion on the two of them. Yeah. Oh, I think that's <laughs> yes. Okay. Uh, um, I am up casting this to level. Ba -ba 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 -ba. What level? Seven, eight. Baby, come back. Seven, level seven. Okay. Level seven. Level seven. Uh, Kaspar will try to counterspell it, but he doesn't know the spell you were going for. Uh huh. So just... he will cast it in the third level, and he will try to make a charisma check to be accurate. Sure. Okay. So level seven. So I believe I have to beat seventeen, right? I, f I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> okay. I'm so used auto <laughs> auto counter spells. <laughs> okay, he he failed trying to counter spell it. So okay. your spells. Uh, what happens to both of us now, to Melchior and Caspar? What do, do we need to do? Do you make saving throw? Wisdom saving throw. Okay. No, but we're the two device one. <laughs> They're the wise guys. The wise guys. Uh, he has a spell up 5th level, higher, 5 feet, 5, 15, Shit, are you okay. 20, 25. I think both of them, the highest person rolled a 15. Your DC is higher than that, right? Yes, sir. 
Actually, that was supposed to be with a ninth level, so I'll I'll change that because I needed a sphere, a circle that's a radius of thirty feet. So, okay, I don't have a ninth level spell slot anymore. Okay. Uh, and yeah, so they both fail. They get confused. Why is this person muttering Italian words? Mm-hmm. And. Yeah, an affected target can't take reactions and must roll a d10 at the start of each turn to determine its behavior. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Trippy you... of a spell. Yeah, and so when it's their turn, you let me know and then you have to roll a d10 for, okay. for us to see what they actually do. Okay, gotcha. Awesome. Okay. And then I will move to where I wanted to go. Okay. And that was my bonus action to melt your thingy thingy and then my action I end my turn. Confusion is concentration, yep. Do I get additional damage from the celestial revelation? Oh, you're right. Uh, Melchior does. Okay. Caspar is not in range of my ten feet. How much do I get? Six. Five, no? Six, okay. Six of my radiance. Okay. If they're weak to radiant damage, it'll double. Well, yeah. They're not weak, so as far as I know. Dope. Alright. Right, it's my turn. Ah, uh, but yeah, I can't do anything there, more people. So I guess uh, as a bonus action, uh, I point towards who's confused? Melchior uh, and Caspar. Melchior and Caspar. Baltazar. No one's been damaged. No, uh, they've been damaged, but it's still like ten no. points. Okay, okay, okay. I'll just point to Baltazar's no close to him. I point towards the general area of Baltasar. It's within sixty feet. Are we doing are we doing Pythagorean? No. Uh, <laughs> no, please no. Had the hypotenuse. No, I don't care anymore. <laughs> okay. Let's not do math here, please. Yeah. Okay. Uh okay, even without I think yeah, he's yeah, like think, twenty I feet away from him, me. He's yeah. just like within sixty feet. Yeah. Okay. So as a bonus action I point towards uh Balthazar. Uh and then as I do that, like uh uh spectral co- spectral copy of the my of Concordia leaves it. Like as if it has a soul and it's leaving it. And I pass spiritual weapon. Dope. Uh which gives me the most. Uh at four oh, fourth level. Yeah, that would make your spiritual weapon to be eight. Yep. Okay, and then as part of that it gets to attack. So let me do that. I don't know this there is there a command for that one attack spiritual weapon so they have to i do not know let me see or just do the information mark r whatever you can make a, a custom action on your dnd beyond and okay. then you do that right. you can make it that code next time to the b20 plus 11. okay one i want did i hit it's fine, no? Does wait you? Uh, what is? Yes, twenty one hits. Twenty one means one. Roll for damage. Eight plus. To be plus your, uh, I believe it's your charisma. Fourteen. That's <laughs> one and eight. Fourteen. Okay, fourteen. This is for Balthazar. Got it. 14 force damage. 
That's my bonus action. Uh, for my main action. Uh, I already have search magic without having any magic on you. There's how much now? Is there anyone on the ground left? I think everyone no. dead. Yeah, everyone. The zombies are dead. Okay. In that case, I shall. I will. What's that? You're too far for any of my aura. I think that's it. Within ten feet. Yeah, that's it. Uh -huh. Don't do anything to our one people. I'll move. Sorry. I'll move nearer to the others. Okay. And then that would be it for my turn. All right. I'll go to be within ten feet. Yeah. Oh wait, someone cast a lightning thing, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you have any ranged weapons like a dagger or dart? Nope. Okay. I am really I'm 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 locked. I think that's it. Okay. Okay. Uh yeah, out of yeah. game question. If yes. I summon a thingy, like an aberration or my draconic spirit, can they yeah. also a person? No. Can they like have like thing on that? The draconic is large, so it can be a mount. Yeah, right. Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. So good oh, wait. Okay. Oh, what? Uh can I do something? Sorry. What what is it? I will Point again towards Balthazar and then with a good booming commanding voice as I approach and cast come now. Oh wait, I already casted something. I can't cast another thing. Never mind. Action yeah, surge. It. Action surge. Yeah, you can do action surge now. Or later now. I could actually I don't want to action surge a command. Feels okay. weird. <laughs> Yeah. That's it. That's it. Okay. All right. Next is the, next is the three of the, the wise guys' turn. So, wise uh, we'll guys. Go first, wise we'll guy. So, yeah, the wise guys who are confused right now. Balthazar. <laughs> <laughs> confused and That's... frightened. Yeah. Balthazar will try to target Reggie for what he did to his. Buddies, so he will point at you and cast finger of death on you. So at me, Reggie. Yes. Uh, He's the one who's not confused, right? Can I? Okay, counter spell, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> who can is? I... At what level? Either of you can. Uh, oh, you want I to can... do it, Mika? Oh yeah. You can do it if you have a reaction. I thought, I thought wala na kay reaction. I got my reaction. Uh, and yeah, I can. I will. I will. If if I fail, then you can you can yes, sell. You. Yeah. Counter spell at the. I don't have. A ninth, eighth, or seven. I'll save my eighth, I guess. I'll go for seventh. Whoa. Boom. That's high. That's high. Okay, with that. And don't you point your finger at me. <laughs> it's rude to do that. <laughs> With that, you were able to successfully counterspell his finger of death. 
when you point the finger, you just three points are pointing back. <laughs> 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 That's safe. <laughs> oh, God. The, other, no the other two guys, they are, uh, yeah, I will okay. have to roll, no? Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, uh, I'll, I'll roll 1d10. I'll roll 2d10. 2d10. Yeah. For, first one for Melchior, second one for... So four and three, what do oh, those do? Four. Oh, oh shit. Okay. Four and three, they have the same effect. The creature doesn't move or take actions this turn. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Girl, today is not your day. What? When they okay, and then when they end they, their turn, they can make a wisdom saving throw. Yeah. Oh, okay. If it so succeeds. They can do it now. Yeah, they yeah. can do it now when they end. Uh, Wisdom DC twenty one. Okay, that's high. <laughs> that's high, man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. They're just in the air. That's the problem. Wait. <coughs> Okay, so Melchior succeeds in his saving throw, but Caspar doesn't. So Melchior is not confused anymore. Okay. Good for him. Uh, yeah. Good welcome, for him. To the, welcome to the community. But yeah. their, turn, their turns are over. <laughs> their turn is done, yeah. Their turn was wasted. So, yeah. And Caspar is still confused. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything else? That was your turn. Yeah. Right. That ends the turn of the wise guys. Next is Fjordring's turn. Oh, they're fiends, right? Okay. Yes. So Fjordring suddenly just from like bleach, right? He emanates eldritch power, like spiritual energy, and just emanate from him. And then he looks up. Kaspar and he says so you're up in the air and you think you're safe and <laughs> then he suddenly uses his bonus action um, and his raven wings just emanate and explode from his back and he will fly and beside Kaspar <laughs> and he looks at his minions and says later my friends Mr. White come with me <laughs> And so um, he's flying beside Kaspar and he will attack Oof. with his. Uh, and he says, Oh, what by the power of Oathbreaker? <laughs> <laughs> I am he, man. 30. Oh, critical! Critical! Why do you always crit? Because it's a fiend. And unfortunately, he's a fiend, so uh, he. Yeah. I will do 6d6 extra damage because it's a critical. Let's yeah. go. Bo -bo 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 -bo. Oh, God. Uh, uh, do I smell a. Do I smell a smite? Is that a smite? Yes. <laughs> I will use a fifth level. How's he doing with uh 75 plus 26. let's see <laughs> let me just count everything what, what, 20, that's what 101 damage 100 oh he's uh from the initial attack already he is like at death's door <laughs> so i will smite smite uh so a smite at level five is six D eight, right? Yeah. So it's going to be twelve D eight. Minimum oh. eight damage. Oh god. Oh. Twelve. Sixty <laughs> Let's go. One hundred and sixty one damage. So 
you fly directly at him. And even as you're approaching, Kaspar recognizes you as the Fiend Breaker. And you are, you know, the f- stuff of nightmares for most of the Fiends. So when he sees you, he it just sinks to him like, oh, this is uh, the biggest mistake ever. You, you, you fly towards him, you chop him into several bits, and as he falls to the ground, his corpse, the pieces of his corpse just like envelop in flames and he's gone. He's... And then Fjordring will use Oathbreaker to point at Melchior and he says, don't think I forgot about you. And then, because he, he has 60 feet, right? So he can still yeah. come here and yes. he will attack again. Oh my God. Oh my god! 2020! Let's oh, go! Crit- Critical! Oh, my 75! God. Plus... <laughs> still 75, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm loving this right now. 66, okay. 25, so that's 100. 100. And last smite of 5th level. Last fifth level spell slot, and that will be our 12d8. Oh my God. 51. Go. 151. So, 151. Let's go. He right after you killed Kaspar and you threatened Melchior, he didn't even register what you just said because he died instantly when you <laughs> flashed up and talked and then hopped. <laughs> Uh, yes, and so Mr. White will just shoot at Baltazar. Baltazar. Before you can use a bonus action to do another world. No, 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 I already used my bonus action for the wings, so yeah, I won't. Okay, anyway, gamayro ni ang damage ni Mr. White because he's not near me, man. Mr. White, Mr. White, Jesse is 17 to hit. Does that hit? Uh, let me check. His AC is. Oh, that just hits. Okay, so 15 damage. And then for his second attack, 23 to hit, 16 damage. So 15 and 16, so 31. And... That is the end of my turn. Is any of them poison or necrotic or wala? Let me check. Uh, I don't think. Wala. Purura ni sila mga kuan. Okay. Yeah, it's just piercing. These weapons are non magical, no? Uh, let me see. Let me see. No. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. okay they are okay. not. So. Yeah, wala. Okay. No, the damage taken. He's still okay, unlike the other two. That's the end of my turn. Which reminds me, I will, I will silver there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, next is Floki's turn. Floki, it's your turn. Muted. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's. Is he. Chilling. Is this maybe bathroom break? I don't know. Huh? <coughs> like, we can't hear you for some reason. Oh, okay. We, we still can't hear you. Oh, oh no. yes. Yeah, okay. okay. So all those, all these, all this, all this stuff you could not hear. Oh my god! Yeah. I've been throwing like side comments here. <laughs> oh. oh yeah, this uh, is. I'm your favorite cousin. <laughs> yeah, I've been like rolling my eyes the whole time. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, so like, quick question: We're all Asimars, right? Yes, yeah. so all of your. So that means we do have revelation. Eh. Last, so that's the revelation. Revelations, because yeah. I didn't, I didn't mark that in my sheet. 
Because uh-huh. I did, I did do like a custom thing. Mm-mm. Can I say I have that as an Aston Martin? Yes. Yes. All right. Bonus action. Grow wings. Sheesh. Oh my <laughs> god. I've been thinking of what to do. Like I've been thinking of like throwing my hammer up 30, 40 feet up in the air, which I can. Take that fjord ring. I can throw a hammer up in the corner. Can you do that? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I guess I'm radiant soul. I grow okay. two luminous spectral wings as my bonus action. Okay. I, what are these question marks for? Because I don't really know what they are. Well, uh, I'm not gonna ask. I just wanna f- see my character. I can still move, right? You, cl- yes. you know, move your move your token, not the circle. Yeah. All right. I'll just try to like move it with. Oh my god! I can't. I the... cannot. Hang on, hang on. Stop, I... stop. Chill, stop. Chill. Chill. I cannot. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, just move the center of your token. It's unclickable. 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 Uh, it is man. Ooh, I'm here. I'm up there. Yeah. No, it's here. This one. I just want to click this one. <gasps> Wait. Am Am I at? Is this me now? My question mark. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we get for having all of the paladin auras is and the aura new identity. <laughs> uh, it's not a question mark for me. It's still your token. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really. Yeah. Yeah. Are you moving the, yours now? This is how it's. Let me see. <laughs> this is just how it looks for my screen. I don't know why. But yeah, th- that's maybe it's a layer, like, not layer, layer. <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, a that's a big. Mark. That's a big question. Mark. I there were two of them, and it's like all over my face, and I'm like, I can't click my token anyway. What? Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm like, am I a question mark now? Is this my identity? Can I delete it? Just delete it Can now. I... I'll try erasing. Yay! It. Okay. Yay! Long story short, Plucky grows wings and he attacks like the remaining person. He looks at this over his shoulder for at where Fjord ring is. It's like, like, like. <laughs> Like, <laughs> <laughs> He's lugging behind him his big ass hammer. It's like uh-huh. hey, I could do that. <laughs> it's not gonna be a spectacular, I swear. But it's like resulting <laughs> over the, the 15 years of being sent over by his by his auntie to to nowhere, like on a mission, and everyone enjoys their lifetime. I'm just yeah. surrounded by priests and kids. <laughs> and, um, Loki is going to attack he brings out his big ass hammer mm-hmm. i had to think for this hold on ah not the papa spit to the copy piece oh. hammer slash b minus five plus minus d then um one d eight plus ten i had to type that over again um that is a 22 hit that hits I'm supposed to have great weapon fighting, so that w- that oh yeah, that's been rerolled. Yeah, that's the reroll. One minus three, got it. So it's at sheesh, twenty-seven damage. Okay. Um, I will smite. Okay. A, let me check my smite. I had prepared this already. It's called a stomp attack stop um 24 okay take that um war priest extra at a ha- every time i attack i get another attack i uh, sorry yeah. priest is extra extra attack for me paladin so i'll do that all over again okay for 27 to hit 30 damage okay and another. St- Wait, do I still have the? I think this is my Wait. last level four. Wait, I'm confused. You have a total of two, uh, three attacks, right? From the warp, the multi. Right. The warp priest um is a bonus action. Yes. That means I cannot use it because I use a bonus action for my revelation. Right. So I have an action and an extra attack. Okay. So the twenty-seven and twenty-four that was. 
two attacks. So I... The attack, okay, one was... action. That was one action. Oh. Okay, okay. With, okay. with an extra attack. So oh. I'll add it up later. Mm -hmm. How is he doing? Uh, he is... Uh, he is like halfway there. 27, 24... 2830. Um uh Floki will action surge. Okay. Hey. Let's go! Hey, <laughs> yeah. We all had military training. He Not me, yeah. yeah. Not uh, I said the <laughs> <laughs> Rebel, man, is if you're doing what kunag military, eh? Boy Scout, man, kadi mga rotis. What kunag C80, do? What kunag C80? Um, for 21 to hit, that is 36 damage. He will might with a level three because pa ubus na yung spells. Let's go. What's my level three? It's called a th a thump. A thump. Okay. And Roll then the um extra attack. Okay, go. This is a fifteen hit. Fifteen does not hit. Okay, Wish war boom. priest. No, war priest um channeled wait, what do you call it? War, war god war god blessing. Yeah. It's called Ooh. something. Plus it grants me plus ten. So it's when you to hit. Then that will hit. Let's go. And then I'll attack with a smite with a what was it called? Thump. I'm forgetting so many names. Thump. Thump. Seventeen. Yeah. And then bonus attack for attacking war priest thing. Oof. Another three. Oh my god, okay. So 24 to hit, 36 damage. I will thump. Thump, thump, thump. Thump, 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 thump. thump. <laughs> I have a free 1d8 from... Where, what is it called? From Improved Smite? No, I don't have Improved Smite. I have something else from a War Priest. Oh, thing. from the oh. Divine Strike thingy. Yeah, Double yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the that's the what's it called? Uh, but I'm trying. I'm trying to. Uh, where what is it? it? I, um, yeah, Divine Strike. I think Strike. Balthazar's. Yeah, so it's one gone. of each. Once it's per turn. Once per turn, I get to do this. So I it's think Balthazar's I, I had, gone. At I had a name for this. It's called uh, what was it called? Ah, uh, there's Splat. <laughs> I like that. My name, Tanan. <laughs> so that's a thirteen. <laughs> and then. from the revelation, I get a free. What was it? A once per turn thing. Yeah, until transformation, you have flying once. You can deal extra radiant damage dealing when you deal damage to it. What's the extra damage? Proficiency bonus. Ah, it's proficiency bonus. It's only like, I don't know, six, six? or something. Yeah. <laughs> Just a bonus. Either six. way. Yeah, I'm pretty that's sure it. I don't even have to total that he died. You hammered him several times to the body, and <laughs> finishing blow, you smashed his face in, and he died before he hit the ground. Pure drink. <laughs> go up. Uh, tells Floki, I am happy for you, cousin. <laughs> <laughs> And between like all of the blood from the bloody stump that he's been smashing, it cause like his face is like real red with the blood, and he's like giving out a really big smile, and the, the teeth are red. Yeah. Oh so Piordring shouts at Loki, "Embrace the anger. That is it." <laughs> this guy a priest. <laughs> Is this guy a priest? Yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like seething. He's like, <laughs> all that, all that pent up energy from the from the seminary. <laughs> Targeting Auntie Priya. What's up, Auntie? Look at some other issues, man. Any Auntie issues, pala? I swear. Uh, Priya is your mother, so yeah. Oh, mother, pala. Mom, Mom. issues. 
and uh, are you happy now, mom? Are you happy? <laughs> are you happy? Are you happy? <laughs> Look what you made me do. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> no. Next, last but not least, is Felicity. Felicity. But everyone's dead. Yeah, there is one zombie left, and it's up to you to close the to finish him off. How come will I need kill? <laughs> I would like <laughs> to um just lightning bolt then that dude. Nice. Uh, roll the damage. That's a seventh level spell from your staff, no? Yes, please. Twelve d six. Oof. I just roll directly. Are yes, you? I have to do a dex save. Yeah. Ooh, mate. I have zero dex, so. Forty-six. Thompson, Thompson. Oh my god, I rolled not one. So, forty-six damage. Uh, he's still standing. He still has one, a, a few hit points left from the okay. damage. Bonus mm -hmm. action, fire bolt. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Roll to attack. Yeah. Cast, man, man, no? Cast. Yeah, this is, uh, you can do, yeah, cast, then press one. Ooh, 25, 28. Nice. Yep, this one hits. After you strike him down with lightning, you hurl another firebolt, and you kill the zombie. Woo! And Sinch. we are now out of combat, guys. Let's go. Woohoo! That was intense. <laughs> yeah. For this entire time, where where she got to that love she. The elf and the dwarf, the Lord of the Rings, Gumbrad Nagumbane is like body count. Oh, it's yeah. Legolas and Gimli. Legolas yeah. and Gimli. Homer is like an of your drink. Oh my God, am I Gimli with a hammer? <laughs> <laughs> Unintentional. You get to be the pretty one. <laughs> <laughs> I can be Gimli, I have a beard. <laughs> what, well, you have a beard too? All the men have beards. <laughs> uh, all the men have beards. After being out of combat, uh, everyone gathered again. Thankfully, there were zero cases in your end. Whoever is injured, you are able to cure wounds away their injury. And yeah, you check their uh, no? you check the zombies um clothes and whatever. You notice that uh these are they carry the insignia of like the country of Revolonia. So there are like Revolonian forces inside Glavius as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. So, Morag, it's alerting, you guys are alerted to the fact that Revolonia seems to have their own, like, you know, they have their own spy network as well. They have eyes and ears everywhere if they are aware of your encampment as well. So, yeah. Something to take note of. Revolonian forces are really uh, targeting you as well. Uh, the fight has been won, and you were able to uh, successfully uh, rest and prepare. And if nothing else, uh, if you guys want to bring up some stuff, you can role play. But if not, we can. Uh, move to the next scene where you break into the castle. Anything, guys? I'm good, I'm good. I'm chill. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Uh, you guys were able to rest easy. Uh, people were keeping watch as well. Eventually, you guys, uh, 
were able to you were separated from your main group the five of you along with uh i will say adam and killian accompany you as well so Ooh, uh, the, the fiancés <laughs> <laughs> Surprisingly, Adam is quite nice to Killian. There's been a time skip, so they had time to like interact as Bond well. with each other. Yeah, oh, they, a they... polyamorous relationship. <laughs> <laughs> so progressive. Yep. So ahead of its time. Very ahead of times, you know. Uh, so this is the castle of Glavius. Um, have you guys seen the no, image? I have changed the scene already. It's loading. So, man, it's like oh, multiple, wow. multiple <laughs> layers to the, to the kingdom yes. the castle. So this is the royal castle of Glavius. King Liam is somewhere within this building. General Killian believes he is sequestered in his room uh, at this point in time. You see a lot of people approaching the castle. These are the nobility and all of the powerful people invited to the Green Sprout Festival, the celebration of a new year. So unfortunately for you, since it's tradition to celebrate New Year at home or whatever, you guys celebrate a New Year in a foreign country, preparing to <laughs> commit a you know a, a black ops mission essentially. So. You know, you had a small uh, celebration of the New Year's in your in your camp, uh, but yeah, here everyone is celebrating the first day of the year, seven forty-four AP, and uh, since the castle, there are two castles here, and they're connected within this mountain. There is a hidden passage in one of the mountain faces, uh, specifically over here. If you see my orange pointer, there is a hidden passage in this mountain. So the seven of you have gathered there. Uh, uh, Gosaltea has also accompanied you, but using his magic, he has turned into a cloud of white of golden smoke because he has the spell gaseous form one. So uh, the passage is too small for him to fit. So to compensate, he turns into a to golden smoke to accompany you guys and the entrance i will show you what the entrance looks like the entrance unfortunately is covered in huge piles of rock uh killian uh expected the these heavy obstacles to be within this enough uh, but thankfully, there are some people here who are strong enough to move all these heavy piles of rocks. So, Augustus, joke. yes, Augustus, <laughs> and also <laughs> Floki, I believe. Uh, I want the both of you to roll strength checks to move these stuff around. Uh, for the rest of you guys, you can book, you can buff them up, you can give them guidance or whatever, whatever you need to. Yeah. These are heavy as rocks. Do we have bear totem on? Uh, bear totem. Why would you have a bear totem? I think I heard someone mention barbarian before, but okay. No, <laughs> no. barbarian. Would have been strength check uh, advantage. But Ace has Gee. the atom. The belt. Yeah, the belt. Uh, Exorian belt of dragon strength, yeah. Wait, do I have something from my belt? No, it doesn't say uh, anything. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I have any spells, so I think I'm just going to have to roll this. Uh, uh, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll cast, I guess, guidance on myself, and I'm pretty sure I had enhanced ability. Where did... There, okay. Enhance with this concentration. I <coughs> know uh, both of them are no speech concentration. From Reggie, Reggie um, I'm going. Reggie, yeah. give Bardic inspiration to his brother. I, I, I'm maybe not to his uncle, Floki. Say he'll say something along the lines of like. You're our favorite uh, uncle. To you, Floki. <laughs> it's been a long time since we uh meet face to face, but uh. 
what I can say is that uh, you look not so bad. <laughs> that's his. I, that's I his bardic inspiration. <laughs> I feel. I feel so inspired. Uh, I'm sure you meant I look better than Fjordring, and that's that's inspiration enough for me. I rolled a nat one. What? Oh, wait, hold on. Um, I was gonna. Gu- I was. I was gonna give. Gus, can I call Augustus Gus? Yes, we can. I was gonna give Gus uh, enhance ability. Oh, what was it? Bear's endurance. The target has advantage on wait constitution. Wait, bull strength. The target has advantage on strength checks. Oh. And his her carrying capacity doubles. Oh, you can carry everything. <laughs> Gus enhance ability. And then I am going to strength. What's th- is it a one d twelve? So for the bardic one d eight. I'm multi class. Okay. <laughs> nice. Thank you for the advantage. Awesome. I did not roll on the correct channel, but it's a it's a thirty three. Dope. Thirty three. Nice. Okay. Together, you guys were able to move these massive of rock without any trouble incredible feats of strength uh and then together you work in concert to rip the rusty metal gates open and... how's this how's this priest so str- this priest <laughs> yeah. work works out in the center they have a full-blown anytime gym. fitness mm. in the yeah. seminary it's probably a gym in the, in the when they said anytime they mean anytime <laughs> <laughs> We bet uh, press so, the high priest. Yeah. No, you, you, you're like bench pressing. You know, stacks of Bibles. <laughs> There's nothing to do in this. Family. Your energy drink is holy water. <laughs> <laughs> my God. Oh my God. Oh my God is real. Uh, <laughs> so. You guys enter the murky hidden oh, passage, sure. and it looks like this. It's very dark, very musty and old, yeah. and you know, it's gross. Very whatever. Low, um, low, low polygon 3D renderings. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I can find. Okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, do a survival. Check, please. Ah, oh, shit. All of you. Ah, oh, everyone. Ah, oh, um, shit. I don't. I don't. I'm not gonna be able to do oh anything. Check. Oh my god, this survival. <laughs> yeah. Uh, survival is sur- wisdom, Bayan. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, wisdom. Reggie is oh, just plus right. zero. Um, I'm going to anything. like. I'm going to give guidance to um, Reggie. Uh, oh. I reach out my hand on his shoulders. It's like I would like to use one sorcery point to cast to reroll my thing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> How much guidance do I do I get? It's a D four, and he's like, for as long as I remember you, I know that you can do it. Oh, man. So I got a plus four, twelve. Oh, no. I rolled a sixteen. Fjordring rolled the highest, I guess. Okay, okay. At 19. Okay. Uh, to, together, you were able to, as I said, uh, to navigate the place. And uh, Felicity, thankfully, you were... Uh, I'll say that Gosalteo and his smoke form was like giving you... Was just like leading the way as well, making sure you don't get lost. So, you know, he's, he's taking care of you as like... as your designated rider as well so oh. you guys were able to he was able to easily navigate he's like in his smoke form the man said so uh eventually you guys were able to uh navigate the passageway and you find like a body of water uh that is connecting to the sewer system of the castle um you guys will have to swim through it to get into the castle's like tunnel network. So I need you guys 
to do a uh, to do a athletics check to swim through the water, or if you have any spells that lets you like pull a Moses and part the water, then you can do that. <laughs> Yeah. Well, it's not... do you have? Hold on. <laughs> Wait, stop. let me check. Uh, first a pile of rocks, now a pile of shit. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what is it? Oh, like, no, we have to go. I didn't get it. Under. You have uh... to... It's like, uh. It's like, um, uh. It's like the water's up to the ceiling, or? It's... Yes, it's like up to the ceiling, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Oh, we have to. I'm sure some of you have telekinesis as well. I can, you can uh, cast that and also like move the water like in a green gray or something. Can yeah, can I actually that do that? Like spam, spam. What's it called? Shove, <laughs> telekinetic uh, shove. Challenge accepted. I do have telekinesis. Just give me like 20, 24 hours to part the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> I think several. I think if you regulus and uh, for the you can cast it together in concert. I think you can make a safe pathway to just navigate through the through all of the sewage water. I can say that. Yeah, we can yes. do like a we can do like a a take turns type of thing where. Yeah, you know, in in Avatar, when Ang and Kara bending motion, they were walking through the serpent's pass, basically like that. Sure. Imagine. Sure. That. sure. Wait. So me and uh, Reggie do a complicated dance. Yeah, and Felicity really? as well. Felicity also has telekinesis. And Felicity. Okay. Okay. Awesome. And uh, just do like a uh, Arcana check, all three of you. <laughs> sure. Oh shit! I'm I have really bad intelligence, but let's <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. Go Floki. If it oh, helps, no. I can Eldritch Floki. Blast the water. <laughs> <laughs> the water starts boiling. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what damage type is Eldritch Blast? Is it? It's Force Blast. Ah, Force. Okay, you guys rolled high enough together with your group uh, Arcana check. You're able Dumb. to, you know, uh, cast the spell and you know, uh, navigate your way with telekinesis. So none of you got shit all over your clothes and stuff. So, Great. which is nice, you know. Great. Uh, all right. You were able to get into one of the tunnels of the castle and through a secret door, you enter the castle of Glavius and here is where you ended up you en ended up in one of the private rooms of the castle here is what the inside of the castle looks like very curse of strad i know wow. the, oh, this great. symbolize the the darkness that looms over the castle the oh. secrets and the lying and whatever gothic horror mm -hmm. And then Mr. White will feel very at home here. <laughs> <laughs> with uh, with Adam, he he lets you guys know that he's able to cast um, polymorph spell, and Killian also has his own kind of polymorph. So together, he's able to turn you guys into small animals, so you can uh, go around the palace and detect it. Uh, can I just be invisible? You can be invisible as well, no problem. If you guys can be invisible, you can cast that as well. And uh, as you navigate around the castle, you pass by one of the the pass by the party actually, the royal court. This is what you see when you pass by in one of the rooms. They're all just partying. Uh, dancing, <laughs> shoving food on their faces, and yep. you notice in one corner, some of them are really, really optimist, just eating and eating. You see one one noble in the corner, like puking in a potted plant, and then continue eating. Like it's, yeah. I know, oh, yeah. Cursed. So very, uh, very decadent. This um, uh, royal court and. 
such they're hoarding all the yeah they're hoarding all the resources and uh that that's how they're i don't know you so just a glimpse of like the corruption that uh that is happening and finally uh with under Killian's direction he was able to guide you guys to the room of king liam and uh, Fortunately, unfortunately, though, uh, you're still hidden in a corner, but you notice there are knights guarding the entrance. Uh, here's the thing, though. You guys understand that these knights are not your enemies. Killing them will not help your case if you're going to try and talk to King Liam. Your best bet is to hypnotize them or put them to sleep. Augustus, um, you can do an intelligence check if you want. And uh, anyone else too can do an investigation. Let's go. Intelligence check. Does it have to be intelligence? Investigation is uh, better. Investigation. A 24. Nice. Nice for Felicity. Eleven. I'm not doing everyone. It. Everyone needs to roll investigation. Uh, whoever wants to. Whoever wants to. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna have investigation. I, I did. For Augustus, uh, considering you're considering you're like a a military expert, I'll give you advantage on this one. So roll again, please. I did not. Let's see how much this. <laughs> no, it's just not, okay. it's just not happening. <laughs> Today's not the day, Augustus. Yeah. However, um, I rolled in a different server. I'm so sorry, I was browsing servers, <laughs> and this was my role just to share it here. Yeah. Okay. Oh. What? Right. Don't what? Are you serious? <laughs> it's okay. These two contributed. They opened the door. Okay. They moved. <laughs> Rocks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give them a break, man. For, for Fjordring, Reggie, and Felipe, uh, you've spent a lot of time managing the armies of Arya Jeff already. You're, you've been quite familiar. You can like, you can size up a lot of like warriors at this point, especially with Fjordring having fought like dozens of enemies before. You can size up a a knight. You you can see a knight. You can size up if you can take them if they're tough. Uh, Reggie and Felicity and Fjordring, you guys realize these guys really low on HP. A, sleep, a high level sleep spell can knock them out or Reggie, you could just hypnotize them and make them like ignore you guys. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. How high level are we talking about sleep? Um, eighth level sleep spell seems safe, like collectively from whoever can do it. Uh, hang on, huh? I can read to them the whole Bible of Rico if that helps. <laughs> uh. uh... <clears throat> Reggie just starts walking in. Okay. <laughs> and then... The knights notice you, and they halt you. It's like, halt! This is the king's quarters. You're not allowed here. What do you mean a halt? You just you say, just tell me a halt. Uh, do you know who I am? <laughs> <laughs> Stop. I, you tell me, hold, I tell you to go to sleep. And then everyone goes to sleep. Nice. Uh, Eighth level. Ooh, how much uh, did you cast? Uh, Eighth level, like you said. Okay. In that case, they all fall asleep. What the kind of guards are sleeping on the job? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> 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 Just walks over them. <laughs> uh, anyway, Killian 
again or just you guys like please don't kill him he's only a boy <laughs> as you approach and open the gate i will now change to king liam's bedroom Ooh. Don't do that. He's 13. <laughs> <laughs> well. <laughs> uh, Reggie, en uh, Reggie enters first. Okay. Oh my god, where's Liam? Okay. Where's Liam? He's here. What is uh, <laughs> King <Yeah>. Liam <laughs> over here. Oh, there. Yeah. He is um so you notice that King Liam is, uh, he does have similar features to General Killian, and uh, unlike the trademark black hair he has, seems like he dyed his hair blue. Uh, an early sign of being a rebellious. What a rebel. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At 13. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> You're a... What's next? Drunk driving? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Why is Chris uh, Hemsworth there? That is, that's Reggie. <laughs> uh, uh, so everyone is here. And King Liam is, uh, he, he seems to be bored. It looks like he was ordered to stay in his room during the party <clears throat> for some reason. And uh, he is... I can't believe you're you're still walking with your horse. <laughs> he's, uh, he's very inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> it's such a shame. But you know, not a good, not a bad idea. Well, he he horse riding. He's an equestrian as well, so <laughs> might be something to bond over. So, uh, Reggie enters and sees the king. Uh, your Highness and Majesty, allow me to introduce myself. I am uh, Regulus Gochelteo. You can call me Reggie. I have a gift for you. He reaches down like from behind him and he takes out a deck of cards. Oh no. <coughs> he, King Liam uh, notices all of you. He notices Killian. Is it Killian? Wala ka tagda ni Liam. This is. That's okay. Uh, wait, you're the Gosalteos. And then he he runs to his uh to the corner. Are you here to murder me? No, we here to play a card. So much of the PR card side, man. So much of the PR card side, man. So much of the PR card side, man. What did you do with the knives? There were there were guards there. Oh, they're sleeping on the job. <laughs> <laughs> they're sleeping on the job. And then Killian's like, Liam, we're not. They're not here to hurt you. They're just here to talk it over with you. Okay? You trust me, right? I'll, I'll start shuffling. I'll start shuffling. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and then. Don't worry, Liam. If if anything happens, I'm right here. So, so okay, Liam. Liam uh, composes himself. You know, he was he was shocked because you just came up here and like shuffled some cards. This is like, so <laughs> what is happening? anyway? He composes himself. You know, takes on his, uh, his like just acts all regal and sits on the table. He's like, <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> 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 so, so poker <laughs> so, <laughs> poker but you... please excuse my family member <laughs> 13 years old <laughs> oh my god <laughs> so, and then, you know what Liam says alright start dealing <laughs> <laughs> So how about this? How about we put some stakes on the table? If you if you win, I'll give you 100 gold pieces. If we win, you give us your kingdom. <laughs> give us your kingdom. <laughs> 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 
scammer ang puta. Bata yung scam ko. 13 years old. Imagine losing your kingdom to a party. You know what? It's, it's happened with the four following. This is a Yu-Gi-Oh plot. Oh, 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 oh my God. You know, when, when, when Ronin was like reading the history, and he was like, I can't believe we won Glavius to a card game. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, 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 but... Okay, okay, Ooh. let's make it simple. It's a three card bounty. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm getting a headache from laughing too much. <laughs> okay. so, so, Liam. Liam says. Ooh. So, I take it you are here to try and take the kingdom. Is that it? Um. We would love, uh, no, we, w- we are here to um, perhaps establish a diplomatic connection between you and your kingdom. And we would hope to free Glavius from um, its corrupt um, government official that's currently um, like running it under your name right now. And I'm under the impression, King Liam, as um, your cousin, um, Killian, has said to me that you would prefer not to be king. Is that correct? Liam looks at Killian, and then Killian nods at him. And then Liam exhales and says, if I'm being honest, you are right. It's even being, I'm just powerless as a king, even if they won't listen to me. And even if they do, I just don't have the experience. And honestly, I just want to live my life riding horses and, and just, you know, have it, just doing anything else but politics. And then, uh, as on cue, like Gosalte also like fears. But what about Zedankan? Yeah. And then Liam notices that and he says, Whoa, is that is that one of the Karens? I've heard about they've told me that you ride Karens. This is so cool. <clears throat> and also your 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 horse is also cool, sir. He points at like your drink. <laughs> it's a skeletal horse. <laughs> yeah. I can, I can see it's inside, sir. <laughs> uh. Ah. Yeah, Mana. Um Yeah, uh our proposition, Liam, if you would have us, is to grant you that freedom that you wish together with the guaranteed prosperity of your people under our reign. We only request that you abdicate your throne to your uh, cousin, Liam, and we will make sure that your country is in good hands. Well, uh... Thing is, and Killian is a bit like uh, he. You've you've already mentioned to Killian that like yeah you you plan to have Liam pass the crown to him, but Killian initially is refusing, and Liam is also like I don't know. Uh, Kill- Liam looks at Killian and is like you didn't tell them Killian, and then Killian says I have tried to, but. Um, apparently, I don't think they seem to properly understand. And then Liam explains, Lady Felicity, I, I'm, if I'm being honest, I have no problems abdicating the throne. It's just that I can't pass it to Killian in particular. Glavius culture, they tend to have a problem with 
bastard born people. So my cousin here, Killian, he was born out of wedlock and even though he's a prince, um, <coughs> the stigma of being bastard is just too high and passing the crown to him is kind of an insult. However, if we walk out of my room and I declare you as the new queen, they'll be more accepting of that, actually. Would that be a problem? Yeah. No worries. Okay. However, if you do plan on marrying Cousin Killian, that will also like further secure your line to the throne. So you can stick with that too, still. Marry Liam. <laughs> what a very of course, but, yeah. that's, that's yeah, what the like, guy who likes kids would say <laughs> Michael Jackson like kids you are Michael Jackson <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> right. but yeah we shall do what appeases people <coughs> then um, you may take, uh, you may, you may bend your knee to me in front of your people and in front of your guests and declare that Glavius is now under the protection of the Gosselteo Empire. I thought Felicity was going to say, you may take this horse. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then offer, <laughs> offer this. No, I'm not going to give you the Gosselteo. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He he says very well, Empress. But before that, can I ask one tiny favor? Just one small favor. Sighs. <laughs> Felicity will sigh. Yes. Okay. Can I can I ride on no. the Karen for like <laughs> a few moments? <clears throat> in the middle of the thing, one well, no, but you can ride perhaps... on Didi, but not oh, Gochulteo. Okay. okay, isn't that right, Didi? <laughs> Just volunteered, Didi. <laughs> <laughs> Any, anyone has polymorph? <laughs> <laughs> Didi, are you here? <laughs> Didi is not with you at the moment, but you know. When she arrives, she can happily, She's, I don't know. She sneezes somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can arrange that, definitely. Okay. Then, and then I'm like, very well then. Let's, let's go and make our announcement. He walks on the table and like, grabs your hand and like, yeah. Literally the easiest negotiation ever, but yes. He leads you guys out of the room and walks to the to the ballroom where everyone is partying sees all the sleeping guards <clears throat> yeah he he's he he was annoyed with that <laughs> uh oh but before he leaves the room he runs back and he takes his his crown the crown that he was given in his coronation carries it in his hand uh, he wears it in his head and walks with you to the ballroom. And as he walks around, no one really notices the king. Everyone is still partying. So eventually Killian pulls out <laughs> a small stick of dynamite and throws it into the ceiling to make some noise and get everyone's attention. <laughs> then everyone is silent and looks. And then King Liam makes this announcement. Yes. I don't want to be king anymore. And I hereby abdicate my throne to Queen Felicity of the Gosalpeo clan. Do you need a priest? <laughs> <laughs> Volunteering all the time. It's the current issue. King Liam's like, now is not necessary, but whatever. And then he takes off his crown, 
bends the knee to Felicity and offers his crown to you. I... And everyone gasps. <laughs> yeah. Someone chokes on a strawberry. <laughs> yeah, someone does. Someone does, actually. <laughs> yeah, I... I stand, like, you know, in front of um, Liam, and I, I gesture to um, Loki and give him a nod to signify that he can transfer the crown from Liam to me. Nice. Uh, so yeah, Floki, you're not, so you, you transfer the, you hold the past the crown to Floki so that he can like do the coronation. Is that what's happening? Yeah. Okay. 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 Just making sure. All right. So uh, Floki takes the crown. Mm-hmm. He says, dear honored guests, we gather here today to witness this momentous coronation. My niece, with the blessings of our savior, the God of protection, Lord Glavius, you are hereby pronounced queen of this country. Vivax Regina. Vivax Regina Felicity. Long hey. live the queen. Oh, you <clears throat> prepared that shit? <clears throat> oh no, it's it's from uh, the Bagura Bana Coronation sa British monarchy. Oh, just, just oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> as you as that is happening, uh the troops of Killian, the exiled knights of Killian break into the room to you know they were the ones making sure na everything is secured, no one is gonna interrupt the ceremony. They erupt into cheers and they take after Floki and they start shouting in unison, Long live the Empress. Now that she is sovereign of two countries, you are more than a queen now. You are an emperor. And you walk around the the hallways of the castle, and on cue, the Kyrians have teleported your troops. Most of your soldiers have... Uh, most of the Gosalteo soldiers has also broken through the castle, and you have now successfully claimed... The kingdom of Glavius is yours. Uh, days after, you have also uh, made it official by marrying Killian and also Adam in a joint ceremony. So uh, we will skip the wedding ceremony because that's we don't want to role play an entire wedding ceremony. Yeah, no, we don't. Uh, but yes, you have taken uh, the two of them as your spouses. So you have now secured the loyalty of the Druid tribes and the kingdom of Glavius has been yours through the proper channels. So your, your queenship over Glavius is uncontested. Morag, same with how you know the Green Council secured Egon's coronation. They made sure all the ceremonies were prepared. So... So yeah, Felicity, you, you've been legitimized in the eyes of the Guaviosi people. Uh, the church has cor- coronated you, and the nobles have witnessed it. And for sure, the spies of Revolonia have also witnessed it as well. So, yeah. Uh, yes, you are now queen. You are, you're actually empress now, because you ruled two, con- two countries. And you have secured the country's resources and have increased the manpower uh, that you need. So let me bring out the, where's the map here? Uh, Let's see here. Let me just, uh, you know, for dramatic reasons, cross out (laughs) Glavius in your to-do list of conquering. Where is it? Uh, It's here. Here is... Oh my god, where is... Ah, here it is. Here it is. There we go. Okay. 
we had we had Harriet Juf. Oh my God, this is a triangle. We have uh, we have Harriet Juf. That one is secured, and now is yard. Nice. All that's left now is Revolonia, the biggest country of the rest. And then the world. <laughs> the world. Uh, but yes, uh, this is where we will end session hey. three. Good night, good night. Good night. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kuyabu, man. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, MVP. Today. That's cool. Hey, jeez. Rewards. Huh? Rewards. Rewards. Out, uh, aside from a uh, country. <laughs> aside from okay. country. You haven't leveled up yet, but you will soon. Do not worry. Okay. Uh, you have... You have obtained... Uh, you guys will have plus three weapons of your choice. A plus three weapon oh. of your choice. Ooh. Yeah. And... Yeah, thank you, Wei, for guesting as well. Thank you. You were a great hey. guest. Thank you. I had so much fun. Thank yeah. you. Will I know next time? Next time? Uh, I don't know. I'm... <laughs> if you can, <laughs> if you can, like you, you can, you can totally guest again. You know, as long as your schedule can. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, sure. I don't have any sessions campaigns going on anyway. Hey. Nice, nice. So, hey. Uh it. Oof. So By the way, guys. Now. I'm married to yes. two people. Yes, you are married to, to two men. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. Love that for me. Yeah. I, I didn't want to do the whole. How do I even rope ceremony? I can't. So it happened off screen, and you know, you took your vows, whatever. Yeah. So. But yeah, you you still you still have one more country to take over, and and then the, the world, the, <laughs> and then the world. Revolonia. I GG. Well played, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. That was Sin and Skull Duggery Empire by DM Rafi. Hope you guys enjoyed. Much love and peace. <laughs>